<laughs> okay, looks like we're alive. Let me just double check everything's working. And my VTuber studio has yet to crash, which is awesome. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait a second. I did not change my Twitch. I did not change my Twitch uh, title. I need to do that right now. Click. There we go. <clears throat> okay, that seems to be working. And there we go. Ooh, rewards. All right. Wait, what the? Did I just... Wait, I just started the stream on reset? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, right. Four is reset. So we actually perfectly landed on reset. Fine, you checked Discord already. I have yet to. Are you re responded? Let me see. Um... What is that? I cannot read the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not leap, right? This is just next... Next patch. Yeah, this is just next patch trailer. We're going to Russia. We already know we're going to Russia, remember? When, I think, when uh, they did the New Year stream, we know that we are going to Russia. Also, welcome, welcome to the stream. Okay, so... Talking about that, something I just noticed, X story is up, so there's that. I'm not going to do this here, but what I am going to do is, let's look at the side cube. Yo, what's up? I am not fan bun. Excuse me, I'm strong, powerful, and very hard. The hardest bun you will ever see. Anyhow, let's see. When attacking enemy that is not in buffing, then critical rate and critical damage increase by 18%. That is quite crazy. But the ultimate might is only 15%. 18% critical damage and critical rate though. That is that is a very, very good looking side cubes. Not gonna lie. Is Marcus fanboy or not? No. Marcus is a female. <laughs> Marcus is not a fanboy. What you what you mean probably? I am just that hard. Okay, so I wait. Let's see. This should be the last one. So this is the basically the special week. Uh, I'm gonna just to be safe. We're gonna borrow a P5. I sold it. Wait, where's the P5? I sold this. Anybody got a P5? I sold it. Come on, come on. Give me a P5. I sold it, please. Where are the rich people out there? What kind of people? Oh my god. Where are the P5 and Soul Days? I need P5 and Soul Day in my life. I'm so sad. P5, P5 in there. Let's see. One more cut. One more try. Use Lux. I, why is Lux not my friend? Okay, somebody add add him at Discord and so he can add me. God damn it. I need that P5 and Soul Day. Uh, but since we can't, we'll just use the P3 one. Wait. Even the P3 one is gone. No. I'll be happy with the P3. I'll be happy with the P3. Please, please, please. Please, RNG gods, just find me a P3 or P5 assault. I'll be happy with P2, okay? I'll be happy with P2. This is good enough. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so. We got the plan team. We got the Sode one shot. We got everything. And let's see what is Blue Pock doing. Cooking. It's only five. Okay, it's only five. The mission, 15 turns. Each of them gave a pack. I wish I picked Chinese. Oh, trust me, you would not. That is one of the hardest thing to learn. It's not even because it's complicated. It's just because it's so far off compared to every other language. Imagine this is like ultra hard. Do you think this, uh, this one shot team still works? Eh, I'm not going to use it. Uh, let's see. The enemy is intelligent. That team is cool, but it's boring. So we're going to do this. Yeah, I would rather use this team. Let me double check. Those are the good ones. 
bonus action, critical bo uh, critical increase. Uh, what is this? Every two turns, incantation rank up one. That's good. Chinese easy, what you mean? I mean, like... <laughs> hey, what's up, sire? What's up, sire? Oh, shit. So, when it's below 50% health, it's gonna split. How much HP does this thing even have? 20,000. Okay. A little spicy down here. Uh, we are gonna get that buff on. Do I get some buff? We're gonna just smash it. 20k though. I love your voice for some reason. Well, that is weird because I don't love my. Anyway, <laughs> thanks. <clears throat> we are doing okay damage. So, five. We need to finish this within four turns. Is this even enough? 200k. Yeah, 200k. So, the enemy have 200k HP. I don't know if I can actually get kill it in four turns. Because this is a crazy. Crazy amount of HP the boss actually has. Holy. Let's do a debuff on it. Then speak the Chinese peng yo. That is true. That is true. But yeah, Chinese. You know, I always find la learning language quite complicated. Learning English was only, only good. Oh, good night. Okay, later. Thanks for dropping by. My pronunciation sucks. That's also my issue with a lot of this kind of stuff, right? We're trying to learn a new language. If it's closer to your own dialects, pronunciation is easy. However, if it's further away from your dialect, you actually have this issue where you already know how to pronounce it some things. Oh, that's good damage. What the? Oh, right, it splits. I was about to say, that was good damage. Holy. That is, that is hitting. That, that is really hitting. <clears throat> also, look at all the rank stuff that's happening in my hands. <laughs> I should put, I should put something on Marcus that increase her uh, incantation. Increase the damage based on incantation, right? That would be good. I still need to like do a little bit more research, I think, overall on how the UTT cards work right now. Because I got so spoiled with that one-shot team. <laughs> I didn't even bother. But I think it's good to look at it because 100% they're going to increase the difficulty in the upcoming UTTs. Anyhow. <clears throat> so, again, the problem with learning a new language a lot of times is pronunciation. Not even if you understand what's going on, kind of, right? What I'm holding you back is you already learn. You already learned how to pronounce it certain things, and then it's super hard to relearn those things in a new way. You need to learn how to say those things in a new, fresh way. Let's do a, um, I guess, a buff here with three incantations. Six out his one unit, right? Yes, it only hits one enemy. It really looks like AoE, not gonna lie, with those little sword, but it is actually a single target. Talking about that, yes, so Virapool is not open for register yet, but I'm gonna set that up right up right at the end of the stream. In fact, we are going to do this together just because I'm not certain on the rules I want to set yet. Cause there need to be rules, but I can't really I can't really think of how should I do this because it's either too little people registering, too many people registering. <laughs> uh, neither of those will end up working out. And we have to have some rules, right? You said it was first. Yes. I mean, there's a few of you guys that I know will get the viewer pools first if you're interested. Uh, but obviously, we have a lot more people registering. People seem to be interested in this kind of event. Okay, that was okay, but I don't. we didn't do a four turn clear. So that itself is a problem. Not a four turn clear means we didn't. Uh, actually, we need the three turn clear, huh? We need the three turn clear for a 15 turn total. Let's look at the cards. Is there ways to greatly increase the damage? My Marcus do. Something related to higher incant incantation damage, probably. Hmm. <clears throat> 
There's a lot of stacking buffs, but... Doesn't... Doesn't seems to have... Hmm... Doesn't seems to have specific ones. That's related to damage. Yeah, so for this UTD, it looks like all the cards give the buff and stuff to to like a specific unit, but they're all like overall team wise instead of the <clears throat> coming some up for uh six pulls tomorrow. Yes, you can. You I will have that set up today after the stream. Well, during the stream actually. So yeah, I guess we have to just reset this and then unfortunately give up to do the more fun things because this is really high term. Must have at least enough pulls for soft pity, including pity. Specify what portrait you want and if you want to keep pulling, even if you lose 50-50. Good point. All, all of those things are important things that we need to know. So, you know, the bad things does not happen. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, so this team unfortunately did not clear that. We need to clear within three turns. So this is the one shot team in CN, right? I'm missing a little bit of power, but still, it's fine. So that's 90% bonus. Um, well, more than 19, 90%. So we're just stacking damage bonus on top of each other, just like that. <clears throat> And we also have good amount of AoEs, so... Wait, actually, uh, I can use her debuff first, right? <clears throat> Bro, I just have one question, and you don't be enough to skip 6 and use all pulls? I mean... Look, there are people who doesn't care, right? The truth about Six is that he is one of the best units in the game. He will make your life 10 times easier in the future patches. He is the meta support for Junyangzi because Junyangzi is very, very, very important, right? Junyangzi is very important if you want to have an easier time after 1.6. But, you know, you can always just max out all your teammates at level 60, R10, R11, and then just brute force. He's the goal, just say that. I mean, that's exactly what he is. Not having him will greatly hinder your performance. Joey is so boring. Well, he's strong. Strong character, boring. He's just pure power. He's just... Junyanzi is just pure power, right? That's what makes her so good. Let's do a refresh and let's even get some of her cards. That way we're confused. There we go. That's three Moxies. Four, five, six. Her ultimate is back up. Mm. We're going to activate that and then we're going to do this. But yeah, like, Junanzu might be boring and stuff, but hey, that's the point of a strong character, right? You don't have to try. That's what make her boring, but that's also make her so strong. Jill takes no skill unlike Black Dwarf. Well, Jill does take some... Well, not really skill, but for example, sometimes you're doing rotation too fast, right? And the downside of that is you must, and I mean must, when that happens, okay? When you when you accidentally, oh no, uh, we, we did the rotation too fast, blah, blah, blah. In that situation... You absolutely must fuse her card, uh, uh, her channel card, either fuse her channel card or wait. Okay, you can wait a turn to refuel the liquor, or you can fuse her channel card to generate three extra moxies. But her damage without liquor is a lot less, right? Her damage without liquor is a huge loss overall. And it makes a huge difference. That's not skill, that's just punishment for not using brain. I mean, true. I mean, that's the same with Calabona, right? Calabona. You use your brain, you use her rotation, right? You have a little bit better rotation. 
you don't use your brain you don't use her rotation right you have worse rotation also is this only one turn less than the marcus run actually i guess that is because uh, the enemy are still i guess very very the multi-turn is the issue huh yeah i think the multi-turn is the issue so this is going to be trigger full up no way this is actually the sa almost the same turn clear as Marcus. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> you know, maybe what we should have done is to kind of hold on to the second wave. Ah, oh, no, it's still gonna take a lot of time to clear. Maybe we could one shot the second wave with this, but eh, it, it it's fine. I think this will be fine. All right, let's see second turn. It might be the biggest challenge might just be in special week. Try to fast clear this. What enemy are we looking at? This is also two waves, I think. One wave, two wave, but they're a lot weaker. Then we are star as well, so I think running this team is better. Right? <clears throat> we can just play for a lot of ranking ups, which is good. Look at that, just free rank up. We put the buff on, another buff. And then we do two of her skills here. Actually, let's let's kill that thing so he doesn't attack. <clears throat> Are you pulling for six later? I'm definitely pulling for six. Six is coming out tomorrow, so you have to balance her planet system and AP that takes skill. You can just auto. Well, that is true. But a lot of time, right? A lot of time, the optimal play is just to throw out her skill anyway. Unironically. You want to just... Okay, well, it kind of sucks that the rotation look like this, but... I would rather just get a rank 3 skill out after anyway. Instead of worry about... Mm, let's see. Let's target this one. We're going to get a debuff on. And then we're going to get the rank 2. <clears throat> And even then, still, you know, you still just want to get her ultimate out. Her ultimate is a huge part of her uh, skill, but I do prefer get a rank 3 follow-up regardless. That is the best way. <clears throat> that on the ultimate actually did a lot of damage. Okay, so that's a 2 turn clear. I don't think, is 15 clear even, even possible? I need to go look up how to increase my damage of rotations. Because right now it's three turns, right? Three turns. Uh, we're looking at the boss at 300,000 HP. How do we clear this in 15 turns? How is that even possible? <laughs> like, actually, how... how Yes, this is a free scan you get in 1.6. There should be, like, I think, one more general, general video coming out for, for my channel. What? What? Huh? Why did... Why? Why was that... Why did that targeting go there? I was trying to target the boss. Unbelievable. Okay, we're resetting this. Huh? Huh? What, what What? did that happen? If you deprive me of Daddy 6 tomorrow, I gotta use my domain. Don't worry, I got all the luck in the world. I'm like, I'm like the best puller in the world, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be so good at pulling for characters. It's gonna be the best viewer pull ever, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna have like a recording of how it goes. And then we'll see who's the luckiest of them all. And then I'm gonna, you know, absorb all the lucks from y'all, and I'm gonna pull for Acheron and her light gun, and hopefully not spend a single cent in that game. <laughs> I really don't want. To. Well, I already spent my money for the battle pass, but like that's like ten bucks. All right, let's see. Do we even snipe this? We don't, right? I think we can just. Oh, that. How did? How did it land like this? Hmm. Thing. Actually, let me see. So we do a uh, buff, we do a debuff, and then we ultimate, and then we do a like uh, attack here. That makes sense. Stop lying, left swiping. No, that's not true. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. 
I don't do well. What do you mean do well noises? I don't well, okay? I'm never a well in games. The most I spend is a couple thousand in Honkai Star Rail. That's about it. I don't spend that much money in games. What are you talking about? All right, two turns on the first round. And now we make sure we're targeting. Okay, I see why. I was looking. So the 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 annotation thing from Marcus looks like the target. It literally looked like I'm targeting Juvis right now, even though I'm not. Unbelievable. Are we going to snipe this thing? And then we're going to bunk. Bunk, beautiful. I'm not that well. People acting like, oh, I spend, I'm not spending that much money. It can't, it, it's not that bad. Look, I'm not homeless yet, okay? That's a proof of my discipline. Do we get mass for six inside the UT2? One third of it. You spend a couple thousand on Star Real? Yeah, I have a, I have a E6, S5, Scylla. So, one reason I play Mono Quantum sometimes, because, you know, just happens. <laughs> Look at all this ranking up. Beautiful. Big damage roll. Does the boss have some mechanics? Uh... So if there's no other allies, lose 15% max HP. Interesting. So damage up, debuff, rank 3 attack, and rank 3 attack. Perfect. <laughs> then you do dolphin noises. Yeah, dolphin noises once in a while, you know. But look, nowadays, nowadays, I only do like low spending, okay? I do very, I do minimal spending in gacha games. I try to enjoy the game. I try to enjoy the game, you know? I no longer want to well, I just want to be happy. You know, I no longer want to well, I just want to be happy. Why can't I get Marcus skills? I just want two Marcus skills to be here, like this, beautiful, holy. Alright, let's do a rank 3 buff for no reason. And then ultimate followed by rank 3 and 2, beautiful. <clears throat> One homeless, the other starving, I mean. Hi, is Tenant good? Tenant is an alright character. Early game. So early game, he's a good source of a little bit defensiveness. Uh, the Demon Bullet is a very strong defense down though. The Demon Bullet is very strong defense down. And he herself does like decent damage with her ultimate. But yeah, not that optimal of unit in later content. But definitely early game, you can throw her on. Yeah, that. <laughs> What's the difference between Dolphin and Well? Dolphin are people, let's see. Okay, I, I buy some packs. Okay, I buy some packs. Oh, hi, Narvan. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. We buy some packs. Okay, we buy some packs of the games that are discounted. But, but we rarely go past that. And maybe we'll buy the first time purchase when it's double. But once things get expensive, we stop. We also don't seek to max out anything. We just to we just want to get kind of one copy of characters in this kind of game instead of portraits most of the time. <clears throat> I just started playing a few minutes ago and I got 37 too. Is she good? She is pretty good in specific content. Uh, you will see her later as well because her ultimate is kind of strong with the attack buff, but that's about it. What are we looking at? So these are plant enemies. Okay. Okay, so this thing is like, after taking damage, there's a lot of damage reduction, it does not matter. This, this is for a plot, this team, and that's gonna work, I think. This is gonna work, this is gonna be perfect. <clears throat> I thought, I bought Battle Pass, is that considered Dolphin? Somewhat, you're like a low spender, right? Low spender, maybe buy, even low spender doesn't even buy that many packs. A lot of time, low spender is like, okay, I am going to buy just a little bit of, um... <clears throat> Just a little bit of packs, a little bit of battle pass, monthly pass, and doesn't go beyond that. <clears throat> Dolphins are feminine and submissive whales are masculine and dominant. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. I think the most dominant people are the free to place. They are on your face type. <laughs> I was like that. I'm still like that. Anyway, if I ever achieve a free to place status in a game, I would be on your face all the time. I swear to God, if I ever survive playing a game without buying their packs, I would be like, 
Free to play, by the way. Is it like a little fish? No, what? What? It's not that little fish. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to use her ult, but why her ult does no attack? So, her ultimate is not a damaging. Instead, it applies three... Uh, it gives her three Eurekas, right? Her Eureka is that bar below her HP. And when it's max out, when it max at five, it does like a full up attack. The reason I see it's a good ultimate is because it gives tons of attack to the team. It gives 10% attack, two uses to the team. And the attack buffs are very powerful in this game. Uh, let me get a good Tian fuse. Okay, I can't. That's not a good Tian fuse, unfortunate. But yeah, it's still so like she's very specifically designed for content that's tailored to Genesis damage. By Genesis damage, I mean you know basically, okay, this team is dying. That's not a it's not a good team running here. What about uh, let's see, what about a generous Methodia team here? We just try to do as much damage here with Methodia as possible. That would work, right? Because instead of 37, which have a good... Um, I don't have Spadodia in my team. Unbelievable. Marcus? This is a very weird combination if I were to run this. Because they don't really fit at all. Um, what am I... Oh my god. Okay, I don't like this UT2 at all. Okay, special week. I changed. I was saying you to do is easy. Uh, I take that right back. I take that right back. Holy. So it automatically disappears. Let me see what it's, what does it say. At the beginning of the turn, lose twenty percent of the max HP. Gain give two, bursty, which is twenty five percent damage boost, and want one. Vitalize, which is, which is reducing. One person of max HP, but this thing is stacking. Holy shit! The boss heals so much. What? The boss heals so much. So after killing all three, the boss will have 15 stack of revitalize, and re and basically heals for like 15 percent of the boss's. HP. It's actually better to just keep those things alive instead of killing it. Damn also. So this is like it wants you to do Genesis damage here. I don't like this boss at all, and I don't know what I'm doing. Holy! So you can check on Bun's character guy for 37 if you don't understand the jargon. Someone, uh, someone in Discord and clarify. Yes, that is true. There's a lot of darkness in reverse now. It has evolved to that point. But I don't like this boss at all. I don't like what I'm looking at at all. Uh, let's do the general buffs, right? Because you kind of want to kill the boss within... Keeping them alive is a bad thing, but... Having them revive is a bad thing as well. I might have reset here completely and put my Spathodia here. Spathodia seems to be... Look at this! The counter! The, this boss does counter! So much counter! Why? Why does the boss counter this hard? Let's do a debuff here, and then we're gonna heal. But holy, this boss is bad. This boss is bad. <clears throat> Hi, Slamtic. Like Druvius or Voyager? Just CC. That can be considered. The problem is the boss heals a lot, okay? If it's go to 50%, that's a, like a uh, what? That's a. So, what? Let me see. 1% of heal is 300. 15% is. Uh, 
like what? Couple thousand. Boss have so much HP. Actually, no. Oh, like 10k heal. This boss is not okay. Steam dealing Miss New Babble 3.0. What you mean? There's no Miss New Babble here. There's no, there's no uh, Miss New Babble here. But look at this. The healing of the boss is already disgusting. <clears throat> Burning is like super good for the fact it counters. But I don't think it's even enough for this. And we're just not doing enough damage to the boss right now. Only 17k? How do you clear this within 15 turns? There has to be some other strat I am not aware of. Oh well, most people here can't can speak Chinese, I think. Majority here. Also look at the debuff stacking. This is so disgusting. I need to get Tooth Fairy's ultimate out as well. Let me do a refresh here again. Technically, I can try to stun lock the boss, but... Oh, no. It already have 13 stacks. It's gonna start healing like crazy. <clears throat> At least Tooth Fur is healing like crazy because of all the free rank 3s. But <laughs> it's not doing enough. That is only wait. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I should borrow just like a super strong Junyanzi. That could work as well. Junyanzi ha doesn't have the same level of burst as so they can provide at the beginning. Wait, 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 wait. What the? F Did you guys saw that? Did you guys saw how much the boss freaking healed? Did you guys saw how much the boss healed? What in the... Can I even out damage the healing right now? With everything? You're still fine. I don't think I'm fine. Let's see how much... What? Yeah, the counter is not okay either. Uh, yeah, this is not happening. Holy shit. Okay, I take... I take everything back about this UT2 is easy. This UT2 is in no way, shape, or form easy. What in the hell? I imagine Anza. Like, what in the hell was that? I need the full reset because I need. I need to borrow something strong in the beast. Can I have like a high poetry, like high poetry? What's it call her name? Uh, Spadodia, please. You just used the wrong character. Yes, I don't. You are limited to eight characters here. <laughs> You're a limited to eight character here. You can borrow one from your friends list or from random people. But. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I needed. All right, she goes away completely. I'm gonna put her here. All right, I'm gonna put her here. This team is still important. Gutian can, I think. Do I take Gutian now? Yes, I do take Gutian. Oh no, I don't take. Actually, no, I, I keep Gutian, right? But I take her out. Unfortunately, but I do need a beast DPS here. So this, right? We have a beast DPS. We have plan DPS. We have a solde for most of the stuff. I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. Hi, mate. Hey, what's up? What's up, Tiny? Also, uh, tonight, I mean, after this, after we're done with the UT2, and I'm going to run back with all the raid and see how it feels like playing raid right now with all the characters. Is that Lux a solde? I have no idea. But regardless... It's gonna be a so day time. It's a so day time. Oh, this relent. All right, so we took a lot of character out, so we're just gonna do this. Mm, who was the last ultimate I wanted on here? Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. So we have fifty percent buff, damage buff here, and we'll have, I guess, Spazodia. Spazodia will do a lot of ultimate burst as well. Um, I'm actually. 
Actually, let me do something else as well. Let me get a card right now. We're going to do a quick quick farm. And then we're going to create a card. Okay? We're going to create a very, very important card. This card reduced the, the enemy's max HP by like 20% or something like that. Um, also, it's nice, right? It's kind of nice. Now you can do like auto repeat on the farm. You can no, you no longer have to wait for day two on this as well. The only downside is that you don't get to have a free copy. Not a, <clears throat> you, you don't get to use it in here. You don't get to use the cards in the farming, but it doesn't really matter. This you, this new ET2 sex chicks, I don't agree, but it definitely is questionable in the difficulty department. Like, what did I just see? The boss have crazy amount of healing, crazy amount of HP, crazy amount of debuff, and like the UTT with six. This UTT is so good. I can't wait for this current UTT. This is like the easiest UTT because of a set. Tiny will be signing up for the viewer summons. How many? Wait, there's no way we're gonna like. I, I, there's no way we're gonna spend the entire streaming session just doing viewer pools, right? <laughs> It can't heal. It can. It will heal forever. It's a passive that cannot be dispelled. Unironically, you cannot remove it. It just permanently heal that much HP over and over. Oh, nice. What is this? Uh, after winning, if uh, what? Okay, so this only works if it's over eight turns. So if the over if the turn is over eight turns, the turn count goes down. By two, which is pointless. We can get rid of all the useless ones. The bonus one is pointless. Um, the cheap ones goes away as well. Hopefully that's enough. Do I have enough? 450, I 560. Some stuff that I'm not using. Screw it. I'm not even reading it. Plus, I'm impatient. I feel you on that one. I feel you on that one. Uh, okay, so now we're going to pick up one of the shiny cards. Very powerful. Where is it? Wait, 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 wait a second. Huh? Uh, I remember there was a card that reduced the boss's entire enemy set's HP by 35%. Okay, I already have it. Damn it. I already have it. Well, that was a waste of time, but that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. All right, so now I put that on. The enemy will have a lot less HP. Why enter the stage? We're going to lose some of the incantations, but the enemy just won't have as much HP, okay? And then I actually... Eight some cards, I think. Oh, never mind. I switched characters. So, what do I put out? Um, this one? And then, I think... After enter, the first unit, which is a Sode here, gains a lot of bonus. So we're going to do this. Hopefully this is what it takes to clear it. I mean, the boss name, forget me not. He is handsome. Is he playable? Not right now. He is still important in the plot. And uh, he has yet to convert to our side of story. Oh, no. I just realized something. Look at that difference. But uh, I just realized something. I need the Moxie stuff. I sold the Moxie one, I think. <clears throat> Can I buy Wilderness from previous patch? Will it return? It will return, yes. But it does take time. I think three turns is the number. Uh, let me put on... Which one was it? Did I sell it? No way, right? There's no way I sold it. That would be really sad. Um... There we go. So this increased two Moxie to the unit that's near, right? So we have this. So this gave two Moxies to those units, and then what was the what was the other one? I forgot. I 
I completely forgot where I get the free moxies anymore. I guess maybe turn two. <clears throat> hmm. After defeating enemy Moxie plus two. It's your spado. This is a P five spado, but it's not mine. <laughs> So we'll just do this, okay? We'll just do this, like that. Okay. I'll see how this actually lands with the Moxie. Does my team get enough Moxie out of this? Okay, all the Moxie went there. I think I'll just spend this turn getting Spath already. We'll get the four burns. We'll get this out. Um... We need Spathel ready. We need a Sode ready. Spathel won't be ready, but that's fine. Spathel will be ready next turn. We'll give like a few turns. I think that's fine though. It's not that bad. <clears throat> that's so many cards. Well, welcome to the UTTU. This is the new UTTU. But that's actually just a gift card. It doesn't. It doesn't consume action point. Okay, so now this turn we're gonna get as much damage out of this as possible, right? We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna follow up with um, this. We're gonna get her ultimate out, and then we'll do a follow up attack. So unfortunately, this Jonathan is only P1, but P1 already boosts her ultimate damage, so that should be fine, right? That there's no way this doesn't work out. Uh, but either way, I have the elemental carries I need. With burn, you can counter burning. I mean, with burning, you can counter healing, right? That's important. So now I have a P5. A Sode on my side. I'm sure I got it. I'm sure I got it. All right, we'll go to the next phase, right? Perfect. So now all I have to do is to get Junaon's ultimate out again, which is easy here. We're also going to punch the shit out of this one. And then next turn we set up and hopefully Junon just one shot. When that opera singer banner goes to come. I want her since I'm opera student and the violinist in the in real life. Uh, she will be coming in 1.7. She's the first patch of 1.7. And she is in fact the main character of that patch. Or the main story, I guess. <clears throat> These are the wrong cards, but hey. <clears throat> We're going to refresh here. We're going to do a uh, debuff on the enemy. Apply burn, activate that, and then she the... She looks very beautiful. Does she need a parallel? Uh, she actually fits in every single team. She does fine just by herself. But if you want her as a DPS, you can consider Wooly in the team. But overall, she's a support. Reality support. So, best in slot DPS for her are, Jun are Spadodia and Junanzi. <clears throat> I definitely need to heal now. So, there's that. This is actually taking longer because I didn't do the aggression, aggressive opening. And I definitely need the healer in this team next turn. I think I'm going to replace Bazodia. Bazodia wasn't useful here. But hey, anything can happen. <clears throat> but this UT2 is so not, so not friendly. Not friendly at all. Takes battle out. I'm going to get a little more crit out of here and let some healing, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. Whose ultimate should I get? Well, her ultimate is not important anyway, so. <clears throat> right, those two. Wait. Huh? Oh, okay. This is easy. Unfortunately, so when you have this tag, you will see like pre ignition type of tags. Uh, the thing actually goes away at next turn, which is unfortunate. So I have to use it this turn, right? But hey, we apply that burning, it's free damage. I'm going to look and try to develop some other strat after this, I think. Because this is definitely not very ideal right now. As far as how fast we're clearing the content. But the, maybe they're trying to say, okay, you need like very powerful unit or very powerful team if you want to clear this within three turns. That could be the case, right? That could be the case, absolutely. But we'll have to see. So if this Junatsu doesn't have enough, Junatsu doesn't have enough. Um, what do you call it? Liquor right now on her. So instead of using her, I'm just gonna wait this turn. I don't have the ideal support for her here. The support is specifically brought to increase the damage of a soda instead. So we're gonna wait this turn. Which is better, Jew 637 Tooth Fairy or Jew I sold a good 10 Tooth Fairy? It's gonna be Jew I sold a 6 Tooth Fairy. I'm doing this again, this is very specifically, I put this team up for the UTTU. Okay, I'm trying to get as much burst out of both of their AoE ultimate as possible with Gutian's 50% damage bonus at the beginning of the fights. But without, without 6, it's hard to play to announce it because of how liquor works. Well, this is unfortunate. I'm just gonna alt it, I guess. This will get rid of all those things, so it's fine. <clears throat> 37 is not too bad in this team because that's a lot of free AoE damage, right? That's a lot of free AoE damage. So, more flutes you need, the better, yeah. Ether is way better than her. Uh, no. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Over here, fanboy propagandaing. Is it me or is this actually worse? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. This team, this was a... I forgot. This is the team. This is the fight where you pull out your uh, plant team. I completely forgot. You pull out your plant team and say, hey, what's up? Also, I want to increase the damage I do at the beginning. I guess, I guess this is not as good. And I guess this is not as good either. I think I'll just, um... This is better. That's more action at the beginning. Uh, and this one as well. The thing also only affect the first turn as well, so I don't like that. Free rank up, critical damage. I actually like more action here at the beginning. I think this will make more sense. Maybe. 37 mats are the same as Azura's coincidence. I think they are star units. They are star units. What are you expecting? The real question is what are you expecting out of unit out of the same affinity? <laughs> Having more actions equals more um, moxies equals faster rotations than everything. Maybe this is the answer. I don't know, honestly. Either either way, this UT2 is um I'm not liking it right now. Holy. Okay, her damage actually goes down quite a bit because of I'm not running the crit thing. 
because of how many contention I have right now, it still kind of makes sense to run the one I'm running, I guess. So, ultimate, ultimate, AoE, single target, buff? Okay, a late buff, and eh, that's fine. Kind of the wrong order, but I think this kills the enemies regardless. 37 in stat master. <clears throat> Talking about, talking about the inside materials, I do wonder, right? I have played a lot of viewer accounts recently, remember? And I've noticed a lot of people are struggling with Restless 10. A lot of people are not getting Restless 10s. I, I want to know what is stopping them. Is, is it the Restless material or is it like the general material? By Restless material, I mean, you know, the one you get from um, specifically... What do you call it? Holy, that run cup. <clears throat> but I don't know if the restless material by restless material, right? I mean, the one you get specifically from the stages. I mean, not the stages, from the limbo, right? The limbo materials, are those the issue, right? Are those the issue? What units do you recommend for free to play that will help you, help me? The upcoming units except six. Uh, 37, not 37. Holy shit, I can't think right now. Junyangzi. Jinazu will be 1.6. She's very powerful. Oh, I'm also going to talk about that. I should make a video about this. Jinazu doesn't share pity. I don't think I don't think everybody knows this yet. I really don't think people know that Jinazu doesn't share pity. If they just they're like, oh, I'm just booting pity. And the next thing you know, they uh <laughs> next thing you know, they didn't actually save for Jinazu. Because they thought they built pity. That would be aft up. Kinda. She doesn't? Okay, I get P56. I'm not wishing. Junyangzi is in a special banner. It's a lunar limited banner. She does not share pity with anyone else. So don't build pity, guys. I already told you. So uh, if you build pity, it's not my fault, okay? <laughs> Uh, honestly, though, building pity in Gacha game are such copes. There is hundreds of ways that can go thous, <laughs> and it's almost always will go thous. <laughs> Let's be honest, building pity does not go well. I just got P5 Katian easy. Uh, I don't know about that one. Getting P. Getting P5 to good chains on this crazy, crazy well behavior. I think she's just dead. If she does the burn damage trigger. Oh, there's no burn, unfortunate. Well, I guess one more turn. Tooth Fairy finished. Oh, wait. I just realized I need to kill the mods as well. So that was a waste of damage. Oops. Hopefully this does not turn into a tons of free tons of turns I lost. I'll be really mad, honestly. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna turn into a turn. I'm sad. Well, still, this is a lot better clear than the other. The problem with the soul date clear is um, you just end up. How do I say? With that assaulted clear, like if this multi-turn fight, you just end up lose, lost no juices, right? You have no juice left very fast, and it's very painful to play after that. But anyhow, let's see. All right, re finally re challenge. I was I I I said this was going to be a short string. But it's already one hour in, and we only finished two stages. Unbelievable. How did this happen? How is it even allowed? All right, that damage. Look at that. That is good. We have burning. This is going to reduce the healing, which is great as well. Uh, We're going to need to heal. Where's my healing card? There we go. We're going to need to heal. Get that burning in, you know. Defense down into that beautiful, beautiful ultimate. And then I guess we'll get a 
Junyang's out back up soon with a fast Moxie generation with a fusing plus a rank 2 channel which gives us more liquor. You overestimate yourself without P5 too. I'm looking at a P5 as so that I'm sure she'll do fine. A bow the burning applied. It's going to take a little bit of skill, but hey, look, I'll be fine. Next turn, I have a Soul Days Ultimate, right? That's going to do a lot of damage overall. And then we'll have to announce this Ultimate back as well. And we also need to heal, of course. Look at that follow up attack, it's so beautiful. And she's killing herself through the counter. Holy shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so now, now this turn, we need to use two of Junanza's attack to get her mock, uh, to get her ultimate back, and we definitely need to heal. We're going to activate the Gatien's passive. We're going to do two of these attacks. We're going to save the ultimate bonus damage to Junanzi. So we're going to use that last. Actually, no, we're going to apply a little bit burning here as well, and then we're going to do this. I don't know why Junyanzi is a limited character. Is she like a collaboration with something? Nope. She's a Lunar New Year character. So she's a Lun Chinese Lunar New Year is a big deal. And she's a Lunar New Year character. P5 Assault does a lot of nuke damage up 100k or more. Yes, that is correct. Her ultimate have, can have tons of... What do you call it? Her ultimate can have tons of... Of incantation might. That was not enough. So now the boss can heal a lot, but with burning, it's not gonna heal as much. C could be better, but we'll deal with it. Maybe I'll try to get a Sole ultimate out again. I am not getting two fair healings. Holy. I am not getting healings at all. Come on, guys. What is happening? Where are my heals? Out of all this card, I'm getting one single Tooth Fairy heal at rank 1. Wow. Alright, so now we have a very strong ultimate right here. We're going to try to get the Soul Days ultimate out again. And then I guess I'll uh, try to get you down this ultimate out again. Finally, SS Gold. I was tilted yesterday when I failed 847k. Holy! 847, I feel you on that one. When you get like, when you're like that close, you just need one more hit, but you're you're not there. Like you missed by one stretch of the damage. Right, you missed by a one stretch of the damage. Can this kill? Can this kill maybe? Oh, there's no follow up. No! Ah! Does the boss ult? Okay, the boss doesn't know this turn. But we don't have any more burst. Oh, we're going to do two rank one heals here because my team is dying. I don't know if this is a good idea, honestly speaking. I don't know if this is a good idea at all. But this UTTU is absolutely ass. Who designed this garbage? Wow. But have you got your request to P56 on your Google form? I have not set up the Google form yet. All right, next turn, right next turn, I'm sure we got the damage. The boss is healing too much. It's healing a third of his HP bar. I mean a fourth, but you get the point. It's healing too much. But we are kind of... The problem is right now there's like equilibrium between me trying to kill the boss versus the boss kind of just killing my team as well. The boss is kind of just killing my team right now because of the counter. <clears throat> but yeah, we will set that up like today here. Just because I do need some like a suggestion on the ruling, but oh, we can. Are are we serious right now? We're just like, what is this Warwick from League of Legends? Can you just die? Holy! 
This cannot be real. My soul is literally dying. What the? How is this legal? How is this legal? What kind of garbage is this? All right, let's let's look at let's review the cards. We want more ultimates, right? We want more ultimates. When entered combat, uh, the units next to you gains two moxies. Is that refreshed? I mean, it was like just bunch of follow up attacks. Holy, this UT2. What is wrong with this UT2? Why is it like this? How can I get more moxie? After another turn, Moxie plus three. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's really good. I guess that is something I want, right? I want that Moxie for free. So I'll craft that. Moxie? Okay, let me put that on. So, at the end of the turn, Moxie plus three, we're gonna spam. You're gonna play Limbus Chapter 6? Nope, I won't be. I won't be, I won't be streaming it, that's the thing. I'll be playing it, but I won't be streaming it. I don't think there's a lot of Limbus viewers here anyway. And I want to just enjoy it slowly and read the story. But yeah, wait, it's already out. No, okay, it's out after the update, right? It's out after the update. Okay, so now we have Spadolia. She'll be doing damage, which is good. Um, we'll move this over to Tooth Fairy. Right, Tooth Fairy will do the burning stuff. And then we are going to have... In fact, we're going to use this, right? So it's going to have a... It's a duplicate cart. Duplicate cart. Um, and at the end of the turn, every Moxie plus three, right? This is good. This is just first three turns. We don't really want to worry about it. Instead, I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible, which is this one, which increased the damage enemy taken. All right, this has this has to work. This has to work. <clears throat> okay, we're obviously gonna heal a little here and there. We're going to uh, get the burning onto the enemies already, right? But because of how Moxie and stuff are set, by having two Moxie, it's enough to have those ultimate taunts. I think I'll just use uh, use this to activate her thing. His thing is really doesn't matter. I don't want to use Gatien's ultimate this turn. I want to last one more turn after. But I do I do wonder, you know, how will the the next chapter go with um, with Limbus? Because not from a story perspective, because I have no idea how that. The, the actual book reference. However, I'm I'm really really interested on how the um, <clears throat> how the matter will shift because right now the matter is poised, right? They made poise broken. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. That was not Moxie plus one plus three. That was Eureka plus three. I'm actually mentally unwell. That was this is Eureka plus three. 
That was not Moxie plus three. Are we serious? Didn't you go this first with Spado being beast? Yes. I also just remember that. But, um... Maybe I try to get critical or let's see something. I, I remember this. There was like one. Oh, I just crafted something really garbage. I'm so sad. Let's open the packs we have right now. Mm, all right. I don't have any. Okay. I think rid of stuff. I don't need this. Uh, this is giving up Moxie. After defeating enemy, Moxie plus two. Healing. Okay, at the beginning of the turn, unit with more than 90% HP gains 30 uh, gains three hits of Lux. Just hit 1 million sharper don't need any six right now. Holy shit. You guys need to uh, calm down with the pre-farm stuff, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so we put this on, right? Three lucky to the entire team. There's copies. Put this song. The burning stuff is not that useful if we can't burst on first turn, right? We need Moxie, kind of. 50% chance Moxie. Why 50% chance? Anyway, so this is just some kind of stacking buff. Or, or this one. Right, this one. We put this her on here. She put this one on. And she gains all the lucky from the team. We keep the team healthy. And maybe, maybe she'll have enough critical damage built into her kit uh, with that thing, right? So you see... Well, it's supposed to give more, but my team is not healthy enough to, for that lucky to happen. So, we're just gonna heal. Try to heal up, I guess. <clears throat> I might just give up on this UTT. I'm not kidding. I'm not feeling like it. There's no reward. How is this so bad? How, how am I getting my ass kicked? Look at that. That's good damage. I need I need constant healing in the team, but she's getting the she's getting the lucky from the team, right? This stacks super fast and critical uh, critical chance to bonus critical chance to convert into critical damage, which greatly increases her damage potential as a whole. I remember why I would stay up until 4 p.m. to wait Tooth Fairy. I'm gonna do the same for 6. Damn. I don't know if you're a simp or are you a meta slave. Honestly, at this point. What 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 would you classify yourself as, Tanny? Are you a simp or a uh, meta slave? Look at all those luckies. So many stacks of luckies. So this is what? Okay, that's good damage, right? Good damage. This is... 27. This is up to 50 stacks. She'll get max amount of stacks soon. We'll remove all that debuff from the team. We get that uh, damage boost. And then we follow up with a super punch here. I'm a simp. I am lucky with them being meta. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Can borrow character resonate build can be configured? I don't think so. I don't think you can come you I don't think you can configure anything except the psyche. Imagine how evil would be if someone have like a P5 character, but they take the restness off. They just take the restness off. That's good damage. This is also good damage. Look at that. Look at that. I think we got this. I can, I think this time we got this. This is the right build. 
We're focusing on the stacking a little bit, like usual UTTU. Damn bow can troll people? Yes. <laughs> but look at how much more damage I'm doing this time with the red setup. Holy, she just killed her. That follow-up attack? Three turns? Three turns? Mama Mia, maybe this lucky turn, this lucky build is better. We, we don't have enough damage to one shot, so like the lock build is actually stronger. Because how it ended up just stacking. We're dealing with her. She gains six stack of prayers. What? She gains so she gains six stack of reviving, and then the the allies get three. Are you serious right now? Okay. And she has 20. Oh my god, this this is on crack. She is on crack. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tony, can I add you? I need many to uh, borrow your geek check of husband in the future. I don't think like a P56 is that good here. Well, maybe. It depends. He's ultimately still one of the strongest in the game, right? But Necrol just got six stacks. Six stacks of revives. <laughs> good thing it's only 5% HP. But still. Damn, that's crazy. <clears throat> We're gonna keep healing. We're gonna stack that um, lock on my uh, Assault Day. We're gonna get those burning in for those stacks. And then we're gonna burst the heck out of the enemy. Eventually. Oh no! I just realized she also has a she also has a dispel. That's annoying as heck. It's so annoying. Why are I like this? I want my soul days ultimate. I want to heal, so. This rotation is so terrible, but we're getting the locks right. Please tell me my team can at least some can stay up on the HP bar and gain some locks. They can be. Bakaban, what do you mean Bakaban? Imagine slumber sometimes. I'm not slandering. I'm saying like his ultimate is good and all, but like he's not like that good right now. Not in this UTTU. I'm just being objective. Stop being such a simp. <laughs> Ultimate, ultimate, um, ultimate. Actually, I need to get get their defense down a little. Ultimate, 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 and then, okay, that's perfect. I wonder how much damage those ultimate are gonna do to me, though. That's a question. I'm borrowing a P5 Assault Aid. Supposedly, I should be able to just... I should be able to just destroy. But I am not doing that right now. Not enough damage. She be reviving. Oh no, this, is, this has to be a regular version of her ultimate, right? That means they gain a tons of damage bonus as well. No, 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 no. Let me see. Oh no, that's a 50% damage bonus to the to the enemy team. Nah. Nah, it applies 50% damage bonus and one revive. Wow, this is toxic. This is toxic. This is toxic to the next level, man. What the hell? She has nine, huh? She has nine revives now? What? Where'd she get those? Where'd she get? When, when friendly loses so when we attack those things, no way. So when we attack those things, right? Have one dodge, okay? You have one dodge thing. 
So when it dodges, um, when it dodges, the boss gains one more stack of revive. So we have to get rid of those things first, but we also need to get rid of the boss. And we lost from, and they put debuff for two turns that I can't gain Moxie. <laughs> but will you carry me in the raid? I can, I can try, but I can't promise. But also, I'm gonna cry in the stage. This is not fair. Not the slightest. I'm actually gonna cry. The enemy have gotten so strong, it crashed my game. The enemy have gotten so strong, it crashed my game. Wow. The worst part is revive cannot be dispelled. This enemy's revive cannot be dispelled. It's not a buff. Who is the one saying you to do easy? I don't know, it's not me. Okay, at least, at least we got this, right? We got this, so that's good. Um, honestly, I'm gonna focus on those things. Maybe I can kill some of them fast enough. Maybe focusing on them was the better choice. Instead of um, going for her. Right, she's gonna give, give that thing one stack of revive, and then I kill it next turn. Right, maybe, yeah, killing them might just be the bad idea. <gasps> oh! Oh, God. Marsh, change your profile pic to Babel. Have you unleashed for 48 hours? SSS Marsh or change your... No! That's not happening. I'm not... I'm... After last stream, I don't want to do Marsh again ever. I just don't wanna. There's so many people requesting for Marsh, and I can't get to. I, I don't think I can actually get to Triple S on Marsh without at least one, like a full team of R tens. It does so much damage. I swear SS's March on my account is not possible. Get them to R10. Just get them to R10, honestly speaking, right? That's what you need the most. <laughs> R10 your units. There's nothing I can do about the freaking dodges. Every time you remove dodge, the boss gets, uh, Necrol just gets another revive. This is such a toxic mechanic. This entire OTD is so toxic. We just did the third stage. We're the boss counter like crazy and heal like crazy. And now we have stacking revives, man. Who designed this kind of stuff? Who's even designing it? I don't understand. Like legit, I just don't have a single target DPS. Well, if you don't have single target DPS in March, not just single target, you need either Calabona, Melania, or uh, Junianza. That's like the three unit that can actually triple as that. The boss is just too strong. Crack support as boss. Exactly. I mean, it's, you know, it's true. Actually, in that stage, I think the biggest DPS is actually uh, 37 and not 6, but still. He stole my moxie! It's three of them! Tooth Fairy lost three moxies! Huh? This is not playable! What the f- My god! Oh, rank to heal, thank you! We killed this thing three times this turn, maybe? No, we don't. But we t we'll kill it twice. And the next turn, we get rid of it, okay? 
Actually, now I think about it, maybe I sold it will trigger a passive, do the one last, do the last hit or something. <laughs> yapping? What you mean, yapping? Oh my god, my Spadona is dying. Are we for real right now? We're gonna run to this hill here. I have not struggled in UT2 for years. Like, actually, this is not normal. This is not normal. This UTT difficulty is not normal. Honestly, 1.4, I mean, 1.5 UTT kind of sucks to play as well. But at least there was like an OP poison set. But here, the enemies are doing so much damage. The balls have 30 revives already. So it's not skill issue. Maybe it's skill issue, I don't know, but what the hell am I even playing right now? You're strong enough? I'm not strong enough. You can check out the resonance, but you can't control it. Her damage should be suffice, right? She's not healing enough. You know what? You know what? Instead of focusing on burst, maybe I'll just uh, have a little bit of defense in the team. Right? I have six here. I have six here. And six will provide the team with you. The game nerfed you. Ah, oh, true. We'll just use this, right? Six will heal the team. A little. Get the focus out here. Oh, right. Six have a dispel. Oh my god. I just remembered. Six have a dispel. That means I will be able to still get Moxie when my Moxie gets locked away. Which is great. I forgot that. Six will be my savior. Just watch. Six will be my savior. We'll stack buffs, we'll heal, we'll be strong, we'll throw debuff at the enemy, we have a little bit burst with her, his ultimate, and he can dispel those debuffs from the team. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh my god, doing so much damage, let me just uh, remove that debuff. Okay, wait, is there no debuff? No, that was one time debuff. Anyhow, we're gonna make her tank here anyway. And we definitely need to refresh for healing. I'm gonna be spamming healing. But we're gonna get all those crit things stacked up, which is perfect. We're gonna get her buff. We're going to get one more hit with a soul day. And I'm gonna <clears throat> do that. Six is so calm. You know, the way he's so calm and so nice and so royal, you know. If that's a way to describe someone. Look at that. The enemies are not doing damage because... Wait. Because Mesopotamia have plus 15% defense. Do damage now, you freaking freaks. Okay. A rank 3. I like that. Let's also get the debuffs in first, okay? Run three pounds, let's go. But you always gotta somehow press six your daddy. I mean look, I'm not I never said that. I just I just think six is a really great character. And um I want to lay in his chest. But anyway. <clears throat> okay. Okay. The damage is coming through. The team is coming through. Look at that. It's so much better with six. Six solves everything. He changes everything. The team is no longer taking as much damage. Oh, that's the six vitalize.
I think we're gonna put the six buff on himself because he definitely needs some uh, safety. But look at the difference! Look at the difference! Do I have six in my team now? It actually makes a huge difference. So we have both of the enemy at low HP. We're no longer gonna worry about, you know, our Moxie being locked away. He make the team tanky, but he also heals them. My Spadodia punching like Mike Tyson. And we have so much damage reduction on them as well. Look at that healing from 6, holy! Like, are you seeing this? Damn, that's crazy! That is crazy! But I'm waiting to get rid of them. Please just die. Like, for the love of God, stop reviving! Holy, this, all this mechanic in GT are not okay. Who designed this need to be put into a mental asylum? Because I think they might be a sociopath. Ironically. I do wonder how good Yanisa is here. Because she's a little bit more defensive support. Getting six for sure, it will be a count harassment. Yeah. He makes such a huge difference, actually. Jokes aside, like he's he's such a key unit to have in this game overall. Please why Why does the enemy do so much damage? What can I do here, right? I might want to dispel here, but I don't have dispel. What if I just make the team tank here by default? I just realized something. One reason I was not doing damage is because I borrowed a a soul day, but I didn't put a freaking I didn't put a side cube on her. She was never wearing a side cube this entire time. She was literally not wearing a side cube this entire time. This is useless. The fight's gonna drag out anyway. I might as well get some some kind of healing. Ah. Oh. I think, uh, let me see. Do I do the thing that increase the amount of movement the team gets? I think I'll do that, right? We have the burst, we have everything. And now my soul is actually wearing a side cube. She's actually wearing a side cube. Which apparently she was not before. Alright, now we do this. And now we have crazy amount of actions we can play with. As Tobin, I think you're ever. She, he is everywhere. I think I see him in every single reverse 1999 creator streams. He just hops around like those barrack bunnies. You know what I mean? Or <laughs> uh. put on that deep buff on the enemy. We'll heal a little. Oh, nice. We have a lot more heals. We'll just actually only need one heal here. Do I want the Moxie go to Spadodia? Yes, I do. <clears throat> but now, with a Sode having 
her side cube, she'll do like 10 times more damage with her ultimate, right? Everyone is playing after journey right now. I gotta watch you by now. What do you mean? You mean my I'm like the last choice? Well, just so you know, I'm sweating just watching this. Oh, okay. That is, uh, I, I don't know how to comment on that, honestly. I don't know what to say about it. <clears throat> Holy, look at that damage. So much better. Uh, we'll do a ultimate on her. We'll heal. Debuff. Debuff. A soul day. And I think... Punch. This should be it. This should be it. Okay. We got an ultimate. Not a lot of damage, but you know, a little bit boost. We have a lot of debuff applied into the different targets. Hopefully with reality defense down. All of them. Right. They'll have it. And then a so the ultimate. Bossing. I'm joking. Usually stream time is quite late for me. My busy time. I know. I'm actually thinking I'll stream potentially on, in the morning. Depends on the day. Because before I was doing this because, you know, I have to work, but uh, now I don't. So, I, I have a little bit of freedom on when I do streams. I still don't want to do too much stream because my video takes a lot of time to make. If I stream too much, it's it's just going to make, means that I will make even less videos. But, look at this. Oh my god, the difference in that soul damage. Are you guys seeing this? Like, are you guys seeing this? The difference? I was just not wearing a side cube. That's why I didn't feel the power of a soul day. That was literally it. Remove that from a soul day. We want her ultimate as often as possible. When tomorrow are going to stream for six? Ah, uh, actually, the problem with the problem with that is uh, yeah, tomorrow I already kind of have like a schedule. Has no eyes, is the sunglasses. Well, currently there's no eyes on the YouTuber model, and it's gonna stay that way. <laughs> but uh, let me see. Actually, no, this is now where I want to go. Let's go to download. So based on the schedule I set, it's going to be the same time tomorrow for six viewer pools. So now we just need to finish them slowly, painfully, with no mercy, right? We only need one heal here, I think. I only need one heal. Just keep the team healthy. Slowly chipping away the revives one by one, just like that. No more revive, die. When will they stop reviving? When this thing, the branch, goes away. We're pretty much close to the end of it, for most part. <laughs> mm, let me refresh this, right? We're gonna refresh this so we have enough attacks. One. Two, three, four, and then we finish her. The problem is every time they ult, right, they go into hide, and every time you break the hide, uh, the crawl just get another revive. One dead a sight, two sore eyes, for real. Yeah, this, like I said, this design is just awful. Their entire design team should go to jail. Or maybe, you know, like, um, what do you call it? I think their design team need to go check up to see if they might be psychopath. They might be psychopaths. L actually, whoever designed this might be actual psychopath that need to be checked. But in favorite anime, Madoka Magica. It's very old, but I love it. Getting nerfing global ban? I don't think so. It's not undoable, but 15 turns is, doesn't seem quite possible, especially with this disgusting revive mechanic. What is this? Alright. This is the end of it. I think.
Not Necronerving you? I mean... You know, this remind me, right? Like, without Necrologist or our units and stuff, like, it's literally impossible right now in Global to get the characters, um, uh, to get SSS in rates. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. I know I need to kill her, like, seven more times. Seven more times. Just seven more times. Somewhat a good thing if the game gets a little bit challenging stuff too easy, yeah. You know, what's the chance of them, like, what is the chance that people said it was too easy, brought up this broken team, and then the dev team was like, okay, you think this is too easy? And then they changed the lineup of UTTU's special week, because we're playing special week. This is just, this just a lock like a few hours ago. What is the chance of them just like doing this to fuck with us? Every time I fail at the limbo, I'm gonna throw my phone. Uh, that is true. The worst thing about limbo is like sometimes you're so close, right? It's not like you did it bad, it was literally a close run. Challenge is important to the player will start to wonder why am I even playing the game that is true But now okay, we did it. So now I think I could have done a lot of those super fast Now I think about think back and could do a lot of those super fast, but So the highest highest reward is 15 rank 15 how how do you do this thing 15 turns? There's no way Congrats, thank you Because I finished 14 run and I was so mad Oh, that's even more painful. Oh, just y'all? Just y'all? You think you th you think you can do anything to me? Huh? Just y'all? Time to crash some enemies. It's gonna be so easy. I swear this is gonna be so easy. Wait, there's. Oh, I forgot to read the buffs. If you use more than two t two incantation, gain a. Uh, if you didn't do. Huh, interesting. So if you use two incantations, you uh, you you take more damage, but you also deal more damage. Type of thing here. We're gonna do this. This is three moxies. We'll give her a. We'll give her a buff here. Um, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna use that to fuse for more moxies. Perfect. Yes, but start real. Where the real fun at? Genshin end game that hard. Genshin has no difficult end game, but if you're talking about a like Spiral Abyss, if you don't have the red team. That is built. It's gonna be more difficult. Okay. Like Sparrow Base, I tried it. I don't right now. My personal take is that I'll finish Sparrow Base five, and I'm not doing six. I don't care what people say. I'm not doing six. It's inhuman to ask people to do the the final Sparrow Base. It's just straight up inhumane. Honkai is fun until you get E6 giver. That is that is the literally, right? I was having so much fun with Honkai Star Rail. I get E6 skipper. I stopped. And I become unable to care. Sire, what do you mean coward? What do you mean coward? Wow. Wow. How dare you? How dare you? Dare you? But team is uh, somewhat, somewhat growing the locks. I just need the team to be uh, higher HP, right? They can, they can stack the lock, and then they'll do more damage. This finishing attacks are so annoying. 
Brings my team down below uh, 50% HP. 90% uh, HP. Just enough to have my team not get the free lock stacks. This is so annoying. I need it. I need as much of those stacks as possible. Always go for the moxies, like I've said in the guides. In this kind of like, if you're trying to fast, fast clear and your character is the like ultimate focus character, go for those moxies with the move and fuse, okay? It's free moxies, it makes your rotation faster and it's gonna make a huge difference. I would say fight me, but it's already been established that you have no hands. Mm, I'm gonna eat you. It's gonna be a sire field ban. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the next thing on the menu. Sire field ban. All right, we're gonna use this ultimate, break the shield and stuff. I'm gonna use six. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Six is fine. Anyway, um. Very good damage, 40k. Look at that. This enemies have like really high anti-reality damage thing, so. Wait, what happened to my, uh... What happened to my, uh... Was the days not able to cleanse or did I cleanse the wrong unit? I don't know what happened there. Anyhow. So the next target is this, right? So this ultimate is up again. We need to kind of hoard the uh, burning stacks thing. Pre-ignition, I guess that's what's called. We need pre We need to get pre-ignition up, and once I have pre-ignition, I'll do enough damage. It's gonna take enough damage from a soda here anyway, though. So I guess we're gonna focus on this one. We're going to do this. This. We're going to get the debuff on. And then we're going to ult it. I'll hopefully do enough damage. You're falling strong. Genshin is not a mobile game at this point. I don't play Genshin on my phone though. But I do have a very strong phone as well. So there's that. I don't play Genshin or Honkai Star on my phone. Or I really do actually. Now I think about it. After you're done with your stream, can you create a leak server for people to talk to? Ah, uh, what? <clears throat> um, about that. Um, <clears throat> dangerous topic, you know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, buff? Is the daze unremovable? I can remove it, right? Yes, I can remove it. I'll just remove that daze. Uh, but I don't really need it. Do I have 50 lucky locks right now? I have 50 locks right now. Bunk? Look at that damage! Beautiful. When the lock is like stacking up, it's so crazy. I think that is the meta. You just meta the lock. Meta these nuts! Wait. Anyway. Uh, I think we'll do... One. Two. Three, four. Uh, next turn, we'll have a Soul Days Ultimate back up. We have everything prepped. I don't know, we'll just one shot it. Perfect, perfect. Not my cleanest special week. Definitely not within 15 turns, but hey, we cleared it. It was a lot of struggle, but we cleared it. Matters. What does that. I think I have heard of that before. And I think that's a this nuts joke. Uh, if this is this nut joke, you're getting muted. I'm 90% sure this is the this nut joke. Put a game in your boots. What does that even mean? This is not even this nuts note. This is not even this nuts. Joke. But anyway, I'm gonna add this guy who has a P5 Asode. Hopefully, I actually get it. Wait, but you say live stream? 
Reverend is next. One, 1 1.8 theme in live stream, like directly or hinting. So, no, they said directly we're going to Russia. Oh, I guess was was it a hinting? They said something about snow, maybe. But it was pretty clear we're going to Russia. Especially think think about it. Who we got as a five uh, as a four as a as a five star? Right, <laughs> it's Yenizai. She's from Russia, so. All right, we actually clear that. I also like they kind of put the put the little story now into a whole book instead of like a pieces last time, but that special week was miserable. That special week was miserable to say the least. Am I missing? Am I missing uh, rewards because I can't claim everything? What? I can't claim everything. Okay, so you need to do like two more of the retails. This doesn't even matter. Good. At least that doesn't even matter, right? Or th is that a part of achievement? Okay. Okay. So if you clear if you clear the final stage and clear within 60 turns you get achievement. That's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am happy. Let me spell it. You can't even speak the language, but you're trying to throw disnat jokes. Yeah, that's a disnat joke. All right, this this is the part where I uh, look for my Twitch chat, okay? And then I uh, click on your name, okay? And I do this thing where I time you out. That's a ten minutes timeout. Wait, I don't want the ten minutes timeout. Okay, fine. How do I do? Oh, there we go. Perch? What does that even mean? Where's the, where is the, like, uh, the, the, the one minute timeout? Where the, where's the one minute timeout? Come on, come on, come on. Somebody tell me. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. There we go. Oh, it also purges his. It also purges his message. That's great. <laughs> now I can abuse my power. Truly. That guy's a royal fan. I don't care. This nuts me. I this nuts you. Anyway, uh, um, I do wonder. Is this like a hard one? We have not had any difficult one so far. It's just a bunch of. Mobs? This one doesn't revive, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they don't revive. Pretty simple stuff. The enemies are gross as hell, though. <clears throat> Can I have a message for one minute, too? Uh, let me see. Let me try. YouTube is a little bit different. Put user scene timeout. There we go. That works. I don't think so. YouTube timeout doesn't purge. Oh no, it does. Okay, so YouTube, YouTube timeout also purge. That's cool. Ah, uh, let's see. So the one thing I really wanted to see is um how well does the unit do right now? Right, as if I actually try in limbo, right? Not limbo. If I if actually try in mains bulletin, because I have not really tried in mains bulletin because it just works out. It's so easy now with a build team. But I'm actually curious to see if I actually try in Maze Bulletin, how far can I do with each of them? Uh, especially with the new one, right? So this is the um this is the one that you will be added in next patch. It's very reality focused. You can you can run actually um Jessica team here, but the most ideal one is this one. Where's her? So she's the main DPS. And then you actually don't want to use six here for the specific reason that at least when you're using Spadodi, you don't want to use six here. Damn, these nuts. Joke out bunch of unlucky as well. You know, I'm gonna improve on this stream. Tomorrow's stream, I'm hoping to hook up the system where you will be able to like use channel point to do things with my VTuber, VTuber model. But anyhow, 
Also, let's try something. There is a mechanic I learned uh, that I don't. Sh I'm not 100 percent sure if I can get it to work. But there's a mechanic where you can try to do make farther into the raids by chasing the boss's HP bar or something like that. How much HP does the boss even have? 250. Do I? Can I actually just kill it? I don't know. Sire, are you okay now? I think it's one minute. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but uh... Wait, he was time out for 86 seconds. <laughs> like saying Voyager 20 times by ban? What channel point? No! There's like some system you can hook up and let you interact with my VTuber model. Something like that. Oh, nice. I like this. Look at this. Look at all this free stuff. And then I can get his ultimate back up. Ready? All right, Cyrus back. I actually, you know, do you know where I heard of that joke before? Hopefully, I don't get copyright claim for this. Um, was this one? Have you guys seen that? That was where I learned that one. For the better or for the worse. Confrontation was never to my liking. Come on, this is the one These jokes are not a lot, but Bond Miss Babble is. Um no! I will start timing people off just for the sake of it. But anyway, it was dark the time out. In the dark time session though. Was it? Well, hopefully you learn from your mistakes. Okay, that's not ideal. I actually do. So I, I cannot burst through, unfortunately. I cannot burst through the uh, the cloak. I have to actually play the mechanic. But that's fun. So we basically try to get the burst ready. You're drunk with power. You're damn right I am. I'm very powerful. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm the most powerful bun you will ever see. I am the law. In fact, I am above the law. Every day I slender Miss New Babble in my new video, and it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched the new video. When I said, you know, unless the incantation is really trash, and in there I put Miss, Miss New Babble's incantation in there. Alright, the boss is exposed, and then we get that defense down, and then we do a rank 2 punch. Easy, right? Look at that damage. <clears throat> Again, this turn we do the setups and stuff. Ultimate. Um, buff. And 1 and 2. So this is going to... Expose the boss and then we do the burst again. Not a lot of bursts, small bursts, right? Without new babble, the game wouldn't be balanced as it is. Yeah, he, she set the bottom line of tier list, right? She single-handedly set it the bottom one of the tier list. She has created her own tier and just sit there like a guardian. Not allowing anyone to fall below that. She's such an ama amazing character. I love her. Babble along is bringing balance to the game by taking all the L's herself. Exactly. You know it's crazy? Oh my god, that's 100k. Look at that. <clears throat> you know what's crazy? Is um, with all the... With all the characters coming out, once in a while we have someone mid and then like... 
you just look at it means new babble it's like okay it could be worse always could have been worse it's so amazing uh, I actually need to refresh this despite how good the row is I need three attack incantations on this thing so Babel deserve to be loved more. Oh, well, stop sucking. Do more damage. Or shield better. Babel's shield is so small. I built her completely and she doesn't know sh her shielding is garbage. You can't, you can't argue with that. Her shield is freaking garbage. <laughs> Alright, so now this turn, we're just gonna do some more damage to her. Doesn't really matter, honestly. The main goal is to go to the next turn here. We're also going to activate that. <clears throat> so for the next turn, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get everyone's ultimate back up. Specifically, I need... Um, I need Gatien's ultimate now back up. Because that's 40% damage bonus and it's very useful here. <clears throat> right, so for this turn, we are going to attack the robot. We're going to get Gatien's ultimate back up. By doing one move here. And I'll show you guys something. Hopefully it works out, that is. So one, two, three. Okay. We're going to apply burning here. We're going to hold her burning. What's your babble level? I need more proof. My babble is, um, is I3 R10 level 30. And her shield is smaller than Adra's. Adra is a fanboy and she defends better. I'm just saying. The fanboy defends better. Don't want, I don't know what to tell you. It's just how it is. It's the truth and the only truth. Wait, I need to refresh again. I need the boss to stay down. One, two, and three attacks on this, right? I need the boss to stay exposed, but also need one more turn to set up things. I need the boss to not have too much HP one, punch it. Then Babo and Arcan is weaker than human. Exactly. Not any human, a fanboy, a cute fanboy who play with mushrooms. That's what she lost to. Just saying. Shameful. How much HP does the boss have left? 4k. Okay, I think one punch is fine, right? It shouldn't kill her. It shouldn't kill it. We're going to do one punch here. We're going to get a boost. And then we're going to do, obviously, this. And then that, <clears throat> this is going to expose the boss for the next turn as well. We're going to do a little bit of damage with the splash and the follow up from Spado. I mean, not Spado, but her. But as you can see right now, oh no, this, does the boss stay exposed? Please stay exposed. No, he doesn't. This is bad, so we have to kill this thing. This is annoying. Preparation turns are so annoying. Okay, so this is perfect. Okay, so boss right now is exposed, right? Oh, fuck me! This is not good. What I wanted to do was to skip HP bar. It's still possible to skip his HP bar right now. But now it's more difficult because the boss got like... Hmm. This is so awkward. Like, actually, this is so awkward. Usually, when you can, like, skip a ship HP bar, the main reason you want to do that is because the boss's, uh, the boss's recon strike trigger after the attack, but even if you skip a HP bar, it will still give only two reconstruct. We're going to give it one more try. If it doesn't work, we need to reset for that. Because I want, I, I want like a perf perfect run, a perfect performance run to test something out. Like the limits and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, 
All right, this next turn we have the everything ready, right? <clears throat> but she's rich, very wealthy. She can bra whole game and become the strongest, but she didn't. You guys didn't realize that. I mean, you can say whatever you want. Maybe all the wealth is just fake. Just fake wealth. She's not actually rich. She pretend to be rich. Okay, I need to reset this. Holy shit. That, that did not go well at all. So I need to get into that third turn with all my burst ready and ready to use it any turn possible, right? And also I have to account for a soul day's passive triggers because that's what pushed that uh, to the next wave in first place. And that was a problem. So <clears throat> the good thing is only two hits here. So one, right? Um, one, two, the two, that doesn't matter. And then we'll have this, and then I guess we'll do a... We'll have to get the Gutian's ultimate up. That was the one thing that was not ready, I think. If I remember correctly, that is. Why do I smell ramen noodle? I think my mom cooked ramen noodle. I can smell it. Alright, so we just one shot this thing one turn, which is easy. We're actually not gonna fuse because I don't need to. Okay, we're gonna do this, but we're gonna try to get Gutian's ultimate back up as soon as possible, All right? Because once we're entering the final turn, or, or the boss turn, not the final turn, the infinite GP, we have to have the burst ready at the moment's notice. Already no damage, as you can see. When it's not exposed, reality damage does no damage. When it's exposed, reality deals tons of bonus damage. Again, we have this to prepare. We need two hits here. We set up a Gutian for the follow-up attack. This allows him to do like a free damage, which also triggers the battery, which is good. We have a lot of follow-up kind of damage in this team. Okay, two of them. All of those are off turn damage, which will deal with batteries. I think uh, I'm gonna out the third one. How much if does it even have right now? Hmm. I think I'll do this. <clears throat> so that goes the next turn, right? That goes to the next turn, and then we're into the next turn. We're already attacking. We use a soul day. Passive and then we have burning which means a soul day's passive will trigger which reduce how much battery the boss will have Okay, that did not trigger. That's fine We're gonna use a soul day's ultimate because it's completely relevant to the actual burst We're gonna do this for a fuse which give us more um, What do you call it? We're going to actually ult the boss without the debuff, without the buff, dispelled. No, Tiny Scout. Oh well, she is. I go eat now. Bye bye, stars. Oh, I didn't even, really, I didn't even read, read that. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, I'll set up all the form for the like the six viewer and stuff in a bit. So now we kind of control how much damage she's doing. Not too much. Doesn't go to. Still goes to the next phase, I guess. Um, that's fine. So now, we can kind of focus on getting the moxies right now. But also make sure we are breaking the battery without doing too much damage to the robot. I guess I'll carry this Twitch side by myself. Yeah, that is. I saw the DPS a bit more portrait. Yes, that is correct. If you have more portrait with her, you can absolutely do that. Are the boss exposed, right? Well, could he have ready, but I'm, uh, should I use it? I think I'll do that, right? 
We have Katien Zaltman back into the rotation as well. I'm going to let the robot put the boss back into hiding again. Because I want... I, I don't want to kill the boss accidentally here. But that's too many Katien skills. I need Spathodius ultimate. <laughs> what the hell? What is this? Alright, so now we're going to use this turn to basically do just a little bit more damage to the boss. We also need Spathodius ultimate back up. Just like this. And then we'll do a... Hmm, I think a, a healing and a AoE. This will put the boss back into exposed without killing it. And I said without killing it. You guys heard me? Do not kill it. Holy shit, I sold it. Please. The full up will not... Do not kill it. Do not kill it. Do not go to the next phase. No! Please, 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 please. A soul day, a soul day, a soul day. Do not do that. Calm down. You don't need to follow up right now. I hate this game so much. Why is it like this? How are they doing so much damage? I don't get it. I want to do over 1 million damage, right? Doing one over 1 million damage is easy. But what I need is her... F you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll find some kind of footage for this. I cannot do the uh, I cannot do the skip thing right now with this type of setup I have. Holy... Actually impossible. We're just straight up going to the next phase in two hits. Uh, well, Katyn Saldman up again. Maybe this time will be better. Maybe this time will be better. There's a chance for it. There's at least a chance for it, right? So we break the battery, as per usual. Boss exposed. I need to heal. Because the boss is exposed, we're going to do some damage with this. We're going to need to heal. And then we're going to attack the boss. But what's this battle team Prius soul day? Before that, it would be um, just a regular reality team. Literally. If in raid, it's going to be uh, Spathodia, Six, Necrologist, and Tooth Fairy. Or instead of... Instead of instead of six, you can use necrologist and um, okay. This actually is a pretty good setup, right? Pretty good setup. I'm just gonna try to not hit the boss here, right? Try not to hit the boss here. We're gonna attack this thing, okay? I'm gonna be very careful here. We get the boss at relatively low HP. This is exactly what I want. But yeah, so Spathodia, uh, Corn Bloom, Necrologist plus Tooth Fairy, or Spathodia, Sex, Necrologist, Tooth Fairy. Necrologist already just really good. The one that is replacing Necrologist in this team specifically is Gutian. Gutian's ultimate can do that. All right, so now this turn. Okay, so right now the boss have what? The boss have 8,000 HP. I think there's a chance. We have enough damage here. Okay, we have enough damage here. To get the boss to the next phase, okay? Actually, we're going to do this, this, this. And let's see if we can do one over one, one million. Remember, right now the boss have four reconstruct. Wait, how you pronounce Spado name? Spadodia. Spadodia? Is that, is that wrong? That's Spadodia, no? Feel like the wrong pronunciation. Then what would be the right one? All right, there we go. I think this is over a million damage. So that's over a million damage. We jump HP bar, right? So how many reconstruct does the boss have right now? 
six. So right now, the boss at this score should have eight. Right, the boss should have eight reconstruct, but instead it only have six reconstruct because we set it up we because we skip HP bar. So now the boss have lost basically 20% damage bonus and 20% damage reduction. Just from that one thing. Now, of course, if you control it better, it would be a lot better, but we were doing too much damage at the beginning, so it is what it is. <laughs> I feel like Spathodia? Spathodia? That, why would you pronounce TH twice? Spathodia? Oh, I just call, I just call her Spathodia. Spathodia. I think it sounds fun. I think it sounds fun, at least. Alright, since the boss is already, like, we already skipped one HP bar, I'm pretty happy. Usually, if possible, with a good setup, you won't skip two of it. Right, skipping two HP bar will get you really far in this raid. But even just skipping one can get you, like, the red SS... It's fictional character name, so we don't need to take it so seriously. That is true, but hey, look, look, look. You know who knows the correct pronunciation of everything? Spathodia. 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 Wait, what? How do how do you say that? Spathodia. Spathodia. Hmm. Can I increase the volume of this? No. I would have decreased the volume of the game. I'm too lazy for that. Okay, screw it. So we're gonna do one hit. Right? One hit, two hit. We're gonna heal a little bit because the team is dying. And then we're gonna apply the debuff onto the enemy. Google translates your source. I mean it's I think it's correct 90% of the time and I'm happy with that. Like even um a soda. A soda. <laughs> a soda. She's a soda. Very nice pronunciation overall. I, I, 10 out of 10 would use again. <clears throat> right, we put that robot thing down, and then we beat the shit off this boss. I think maybe we'll just go to the next phase here as well. Yeah, this is a near 1 million damage anyway. Actually, no, it's, yeah, it's near 1 million. But we're double S already. So triple S is very easy in later patches. Sp 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 Spathodia is more common name in German, so we should use Germany's voice. Let's try that. Spathodia. Spathodia. That sounds this. That sounded a little weird. Just a little, not too bad, but <laughs> just a little weird. Uh, let me see. Chu <clears throat> Niangzi is Jiu Niangzi, right? Yes. She's not really Chu Niangzi. Usually, when we use her in Chinese, it's just Chu Niang. The last, so. And that's usually how we call her. As far as the CN community goes. <laughs> two again. So we do one, two. Right? One, two. Uh, I'm going to refresh for sp uh, uh, Spathodia here. There we go. We have a fuse and attack. Right? 
we get her ultimate back up. Wait, Zilli Skong, yeah. We don't her I'm pretty sure she does not have that in the Chinese scene name anyway. The Z is not there. I can double check though after this fight. So I think this is like the most ideal team for the for this raid specifically. Look at that damage. And then we might even try to just push through here. How much how much HP does the boss have? Oh, this is perfect. So the boss is very close to dying. We're just going to apply this here. Okay, we're going to apply this here. And then we're going to ult it. So maybe we can skip another two construct. That would be good. Is it equivalent? In a way, yes. Because Su Zi look like 7, but Ju refer to Ju, so it's gonna result otherwise would be 7 9. What does that even mean? Anyway, well that this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. We did not get the skip. Usually you can only get the skip on the beginning unless you have really high portraits below there. I want to get a high portraits below there, but like, oh I don't have money. I really, really want to just I3 her. I mean, P3 her in global. That would be so cool. Is it worth to P5 Jill? I would say not really. It depends on how fast we're going to power creep. I'll tell you guys if it's worth it. Overall, though, her base is already powerful. Like, if there's a stopping point, I would say P4. I mean, P2. P2 is a good stopping point already. Like, he is that, he is that strong. Anyway, so the bones will tell. Modi's from Vietnam. That looked like a Mo Vietnam name, but I'm not too sure exactly. Stay away from Talking about Vietnam, you know, like people from Vietnam have the their English is the most difficult to understand for me. I think they have like a very, I think they have like a very close to English dialect, but their com the pronunciation is completely different. Which means that they suffer double in terms of, you know, having issue where the language itself one, two, three here, and then I'll attack the boss next thing. Okay. Where the language itself <coughs> It's too close to the foreign language you're trying to learn, and they end up just kind of influencing each other, and you can't learn the second one. I mean, even consider Chinese is not that close to English. We still have similar sounds that I used to pronounce like Chinese for the longest time. It's gone now because I did have a accent coach, which you guys have saw a few times so far because Skype calls. Talking about that, I need to remove. I need to remove Skype from this computer, or maybe I, uh, maybe like log off it, because it's not really good to dox my teacher. You know, <laughs> I've been doxing my teacher a lot now that I think about it. Good thing nobody cared, but still, <laughs> not good. It was out. Oh, I was to learn English and Chinese at the same time. That is crazy. Okay. Learning two languages that have nothing to do with each other. I was. How did it go? I'm curious. Learning two languages that's completely, completely different from each other is a very difficult task. Another good thing about having a soul day and um Gutian right here, right? Is they have a lot of like full up free attacks. If you use someone like um how do I say if you use other characters, you're gonna end up running into trouble where you just can't attack the boss. You have to spend majority of the attack on the robots to remove the battery. I was learning works, you chungwa really? He paid to have someone shame his accent out of him. Look, man, you gotta do it. Sometimes people literally don't understand me. Oh, no. Well, we, we got wiped here. <laughs> Shit. Nothing did so much damage. What the hell? 
I actually did worse than my best runs. I'm sad. Wow. Well, that sucks. This is not a good run, but I'll, I'll be happy with it, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, even if it's not a good run, like, n again, I want, to, I want to make sure that you guys understand. This team are not, like, anything like P5, P6 or something like that, okay? This team is very average. OP0 except, uh, except Gatien. I'm not Gatien, except Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy is P2, but it doesn't matter here anyway. But yeah, I, I didn't even do it correctly. I kind of screwed it up. But we got the turn skip, so there's that. But... <clears throat> raid is so much easier. The new raids are, in general, more beneficial to you to us when come to their mechanic. And they're a lot easier, anyway. Alright, so for this boss, right? I used to run, like, um... Wait, do I have two of the same team? Yes, I do. I used to run like two of the same team, but now for this team, I would say Gatien. Uh, we're going to have six, right? Six give the buff and a lot of damage. And then we have Tooth Fairy, as per usual. Here, before uh, 1.1 mil, yeah, it's not a good run. 1.2 at least. I got 1.2 last time. How did I get 1.1 this time, right? My my uh, my soul is also stronger now. So with Zhu Niangzi here, her last good support was actually Gutian, and before that, you would actually just use where's her name Necrologist here, right? You would just use Necrologist here before Gutian. Gutian has less damage bonus, but Gutian has more defense reduction, which is useful, and more passive damage overall. Uh, but now, with uh, Soul Day, she kind of just trumped them both. And of course, 6, six is necessary here. Buying your character is level up, 2 used to seeing inside 3. What kind of... Do not stop at inside 1, guys. This is also something I noticed, like, do not stop at... Resonance, like for some reason, people are doing this, but do not stop at Resonance 9. Do not stop at level 1, inside 3. At least get to level 30, inside 10, uh, Resonance 10, okay? Especially for rate, if you want to survive into the later term at all, you're gonna need it. It's very difficult to survive without it. Look at that, she just gained what, 3? Uh, 3 liquors? Having a healthy liquor rotation is very important for Junanzu. Look at that. One turn. Beautiful damage. Right? And then remember, every time you go to the next raid, the boss will lose all the debuff on the first 3 HP bars. We're going to refresh here because I need that defense buff on the boss first. Right? We're going to put the defense down. We're going to make sure... All the buffs we can get are on her. And then as per usual, we're going to do skill 1, skill 2. Healthy liquor rotation. I mean, I mean, you know, sometimes maybe maybe switching things between things. V vodka followed by whiskey. Honestly, I think sake is pretty good. Very healthy. It's, it's very high concentration. Overall, I, I would say vodka level, but but it's made from natural ingredients, all right? Everything that is made from natural ingredients are better, I think. Oh, nice. This is good. Uh, I don't really want all this, but I'm going to alt it anyway, I think. Wait, uh, let me see. I have majority of the good. I don't... I think I have majority of the good debuffs on her, but I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna wait next turn to apply again. We're only gonna use this because this is liquor neutral. And then we're gonna heal a little. 
Wait, there's alcohol that is healthy, huh? I don't know. If people say what wines are healthy. Maybe it's a cope, right? Maybe it's a cope. I don't know if it's a cope, but people say that wines are healthy. What is in the buff of this fight anyway? If you attack twice, then uh, damaging attack increased by 30%. If you move three times, also damage bonus increased by 30%. If you have more than three buffs at the end of the turn, gain one free moxie. That's good. <laughs> We're going to do this again. A lot of free moxie that is pouring in, which is good. A lot of free moxie and good fusions. We got pretty good rotation out of this one. <clears throat> Beautiful. Look at that damage. Are we serious with that? <laughs> Are we serious with that full up? Hitting just one? No shot that just happened. That follow-up attack really said, okay, I'm just going to follow with one single one. That's low. Low chance happening. Anyhow, so now we're into the next turn. We start with a bump, which is good, but we definitely need to apply the debuff again. So we're going to apply this. Uh, let me see how many buffs she has. Good enough. She also has a penetration already. And then we're going to burst this thing with her ultimate. Three other fusion is crazy. Exactly. Three free moxies, three rank two cards. Awesome. The best, the best part about auto fusion is like, you will just get more cards until they done fusing, right? You just get more cards until they done fusing. I think this is the ideal team. I'm actually not sure. Is this the ideal team? It makes sense to be the ideal team, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to use 6 passive. Abuse 6 passive. Rank up Junyang's skills. And then we're going to drop this for a quick... What do you call it? For a quick morale boost. And we're going to drop that. Into another skill. Morale boost. Morale boost. Racing morale. That's what it's called. Racing morale. 50% damage bonus. One use. Even though I would say, you know, 6 is not the best DPS here. But, like, having that racing morale on his ultimate is still good. Still very strong ultimate. Alright, into next wave. So here you want to be very aggressive, especially with AoE, AoE attacks. Okay, you want to be very aggressive, especially with AoE attacks. You want to do that because the boss, um, if when you break the arm and stuff, right? When you break the arm and stuff, the damage. Uh, actually, what did I want to do? I think debuff here. Yeah. Will break the arm, the damage is not wasted, okay? It's never wasted because you gain free moxie of it. Your team also just gained free moxie from buffs anyway, so you kind of want six in here regardless of the team composition. Though this is the best one. I see Jew 37, I saw the two very uh, full full up team, SSS. <clears throat> well, SSS is not difficult here. SSS is not difficult, difficult here. As uh, 37 has a re one good one reason 37 is good here is because 37 provides a lot more AOE damage, which is used to kill those hands and stuff, right? You want that to happen because that also generates free moxie for you. I saw streamer saying 6 is bad after patch 1.7, but I didn't understand why. Do you know if that makes any sense? It doesn't sound, it doesn't make any sense to me. There are teams that he doesn't fit into. Sure. Right, there are teams he doesn't fit into. For example, he doesn't really fit into Spadodia's team. Spadodia is very ultimate focused. And we have really strong 
reality supports right now that allows her to burst harder. So in those teams, six doesn't fit. But like right now, you're looking at one of the one of the meta team. This is one of the meta team. Six is literally attached to thirty-seven in in term of team composition. Right, six is literally attached to or Judanzi is attached to six, one or the other. You kind of all use them together. Six is really good with the new mental DPS Marcus, right? So for both of those kids, six is very, very important. Also, just the deep, the beat, the combination of his debuff and his buff makes your team take less damage in rates. That allows you to clear raids with less build team. Okay, that allows you to clear raid with less build team. Huh, let's see, what do I want to do? I think I'm gonna refresh here. Because I want to... Hmm. Let's get a crit here. I don't really need Tooth Fairy's ultimate. Tooth Fairy ultimate, a lot of it is kind of waste, but it does okay damage. It's like over 1k, so it's not a completely bad thing. Good ultimate. So one thing you will notice is as we move forward, the damage on those hands and stuff does not change, but the damage on the bo boss slowly reduces. That's because the damage bonus, I think, is also not... The damage reduction bonus is not applied to the hands. Right? It's not applied to the hands. We don't have Junyanzi's attack. So for Junyanzi, you want to spam her attack. If you don't have to have her attack, you just you just go and reroll for it. Also, let's get a little more deep buff or we do a buff. Do I have a penetration right now? We do not. Let's get that penetration on her. So Junyanzi with penetration. And defense buff, this is gonna do a lot of damage. I feel like using Gatien or Sode better than 37 in Jill's team. What do you think? That is correct assumption. That is correct ass assumption. 37 is not as good in those teams. It's more of when you're playing reality content, I mean, not reality, Genesis content, you throw 37, I mean, you throw two announces on 37's team. Okay, 37 is not the best in slot support for Jill. She just does a lot of AoE. So for also for general content clearing, she she makes those really fast. Okay, she makes those uh, general content clearing really really fast. I'm actually gonna get a racing morale on her. I think. So I'm gonna waste some Moxie here, which is fine. Six is not top option for reality team with how much reality support we're getting, but six is a quality of life changer character. That is correct. Like, we, like I said, right? Asode, Gatien, those are really strong reality support that can say, okay, if you want to do more damage, they're going to give you more damage out of uh, the Gatien, especially for a unit that is focused, focused on ultimates, okay? Six gets more support out of character that want incantations. He is a lot better in those teams. But for team that is more focused on ultimate, he is not as good. Because one of the buff he provides is incantation power up. Let me reapply that defense down right here. Perfect, the rank two as well. Uh, let's get a... Do I need to heal? I don't need to heal. We should do that. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> I think we'll break the hands here anyway. <clears throat> oh, 
Awesome. Look at that damage. That is the support, by the way. <laughs> I didn't even set up the burning for it. It just works like that. So much damage. 60k. That's pretty good as well. This is AoE ultimate. It works with single target. And as you can see, again, all of these units, okay, all of these units are P0 or P1, okay? Do not use P1. And also cleanse two debuffs. Yes. Cleanse debuff was pretty useful in the in the UTT we just did. Remember? <clears throat> was super useful. Wait, also the boss is half HP. What? Enjoy. How you got here? Didn't we just got the new face? Yeah, we did. Wait, did we enter the new face with the boss being half HP? Oh yeah, this this is also another thing I forgot about the raid guides. I think I'm gonna make like a generic raid guide that works in all the raids. Uh, one of the thing you want to do, especially like in later turns and your team is not that built, is you want to if let's say the boss have three bar of health. You haven't killed it yet. You want to kind of hold your HP, uh, hold your damage for just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. So you can get, um, <clears throat> so you can get more damage out next turn, and then push further into the HP, the next HP bar. That's going to reduce a lot of pressure you have in terms of turn numbers, right? It doesn't matter now. It does not matter now. 1.5 is like the last riddle that was hard. Once Shunyansu comes in, and we have 6 and everything, raid become a joke. As, as far as SS goes. Now, people obviously want to go very, very far. Watching you by is quite funny and informative. Thanks. Sometimes I don't talk really well because my brain is not working. But... <laughs> Alright, we're going farther into the HP bar. Okay, I think the HP bar is broken. It's, there's no way the boss is max HP right now, right? This is a terrible, terrible way to enter the next round. So we have to break that entire HP bar within four turns, but it's fine. We're gonna triple S here anyway, right? Uh, let's see. We'll apply... We already have reality debuff, so we're gonna apply this to her. We're gonna remove some of the debuffs, but also... Reduce the damage she takes. We're gonna alt, alt, and then we're gonna do that. <clears throat> this battle very good in raid, yes, but though it is very good in raid, however, I'm actually gonna say, okay, I'm actually gonna say, for general players, if you don't have enough pulls, you may skip Spadodia. You can consider skipping Spadodia. You will suffer for one raid. You will suffer for one raid. On the next patch, Junyanzi will come. Junyanzi has the ability to clear that raid. Okay? Junyanzi has the ability to clear that raid despite not being the element of it. Because she's broken, so. Is this all they consider a follow-up unit? Yes. She gets a free follow-up every single turn after her passive is stacked, which usually takes three to four turns. How many raids can you clear? Uh, she can clear Marsh Creation. She can be put with 37 for the for Darkness of the Abyss. She can clear this one, which is actually designed for her. She can do the Museum one. I'm pretty sure she will kick the Gold in the Cave boss ass as well but she but it was not in there that patch and i and junelsa can also do the newest raid junelsa can you know what let me change that junelsa can literally clear every single raid junelsa can clear every single raid i can just apply some debuffs here screw your defense up <laughs> So yeah, Junelsa can clear all the raids, especially if you have six with him, with her. 
37 gets a huge damage boost, okay? Junyangzi is a straight up a better version of a uh, better version of Lydia. Her ultimate is I, I'm pretty sure she can. You I think I cleared it with her. In fact, I think I cleared it with her. We're only 18 turns in. We're only 18 turns in. Holy shit, man. And after all that said, isn't worth the P5? I mean, I was afraid to play, maybe not. P1, T0 Junyangzi can do that. You're looking at a P1 Junyangzi right now. P5 is very powerful. Her follow-up attack gains a huge damage boost. But this is a P1 Junyangzi. Okay? The only thing I got out of Portrait is a better damage... Uh, Better damage with ultimate. That's it. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. You don't really need P5 right now. She's broken. So, to put in perspective, right? P1, a P0 Junyangzi is like P2, other units. And I would say P2 Junyangzi is equivalent to P5s. You don't really need to go to P5. I'll, but the good thing is, okay, she's a lot cheaper to be five because you get one free copy at forty pool. And I mean, what at two hundred pools? Remember that also. We're gonna do so much damage here. We might get a red triple S here, assuming my team survives. Also, the team is really not taking that much damage because 6 is that broken. All those buffs that is stacked in the team is making team not take any damage from the enemies. We have stacking buff and then like both Tooth Fairy and 6 just passively healing the team. Sup, Espanra? You, you switch to Twitch now? <laughs> oh my god. We're still just pushing further. Holy shit. I think we're definitely going to get a red to triple S this time. Oh, let's see. Actually, we're just going to do this, 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 this. So we can get Junon's ultimate out again. We're just going to spam that shit. We're just going to spam that shit. Getting that 50% damage bonus from a soul day is super helpful for Junelzi here. The one thing I don't know is if a soul day is better here or Gatian is better here. Would you rather have P2 Jill or P2 a soul day? I. Uh, 10 out of 10 P2 Jill. 10 out of 10 P2 Jill. It will always be that. Every other answer is straight up, bro. And then we can set up for another burst next turn. We have a good ultimate here. I feel like at this point we're killing the boss just by killing the little things. We're not really doing that much about damage to the boss anymore. Okay, we're gonna do this. This gives her one moxie. If I remember correctly, you gain one free moxie, right? If you have more than three buffs, then moxie plus one. Damage shield 20%, lasting two turns, right? So that's good. We have this, and then we do the Assault Days Ultimate, which gives the team 50% damage boost for the next hit, and then we do the two burst. 
And the next turn we do Junanza's ultimate. Now I notice this old raid boss uses Eureka system as replacement. You cannot steal Moxies, aka you cannot steal ultimate charges from the bosses. The bosses are meant to stably cast their ultimate in, um, what do you call it? In four turns, or five turns, I guess. Five turns, right? It's very stable. It's a DPS check mechanic. They don't allow you to just bypass it. I need to go to the next HP bar because I want to break the hands, but... Look at how much damage my team is taking, right? Nothing. We're not taking damage. All, th all because I have a 6 in my team. We have the racing morale 50% damage increase. We have 30% damage attack increase. We have 20% penetration. Um, and we have another 30% damage increase. Uh, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be a great turn. Mm, let's see, we're going to do this. We're going to deep off it. We're going to boost the critical rate on this. And then we're going to ult with a Junon's ultimate. Oh, wait, this is bad ultimate because I just realized she only have three liquor. I'm not managing. How does she only have three liquor? I don't remember. I guess I was using too much of it. So this horse does not penetrate, which is a problem. It still did a lot of damage because of the 50% damage bonus. But it did not penetrate, so it still lost some damage, especially against the boss. <clears throat> Okay, we're getting a red triple S here. So for those who doesn't know, red triple S is um, more than 1.2 million damage. Time to turn to speak of truth. The moment of silence. <clears throat> red SSS big PP. I I feel like you know 1.4 is simultaneously the best and the worst patch. Because 1.4 have expanded the game's overall gameplay, meta, and everything, and the story by a lot, right? Content-wise, was it felt awesome. But in the same time, it introduced the raid without introducing six, and then everybody just suffers. Raid is suffer, pure suffer. But there is so much pain involved in that mode. Like, the only thing I can think of raid is pain. Just pure pain. In the first patch. And then, like, once you have 6, it's a lot better because your team actually doesn't take as much damage. And then, in the next patch, we have Spadodia, if you have that. I was eating my dinner mad at as well. <laughs> exactly. It's so painful to actually play raid when the boss does so much damage. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Now, this horse will penetrate, right? This horse will penetrate, which is good. Uh, we want that to penetrate as much as possible. How much HP does the boss have? I don't think this will kill, but I'm just, just in case, right? Just in case. <clears throat> in the shower, too, I was like, 3k, 3k? Um, the, the close, you know, the close fights are the, are the worst one to lose. Are the worst one to lose. I still cannot forget about... That once when I was doing Veer Carry in Limbo and I almost cleared it within 12 turns with the uh, team of Charlie. That's why I built Necro before raids come in global. Well, I made that video, people still refusing to build raid. There are people who's like, no, Pickle is better. You should build Pickle. Pickle. Oh my god, misinformation. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sad I don't have necrologist. Yeah, I feel you. The baby blue clutch fell. Yes. The worst part is there was a chance that I would have cleared it. Okay. There was a chance that I would have cleared it if I refreshed. That's what it made so much worse. Wait. Now I think about it. Did I do more damage to Lux right now? Am I doing more damage to Lux? Because, um... 
Because I remember Lux have a P P5 or so they did. Did Lux do like 1.2 mil? Or how much did she do today? I don't remember. But yeah, that one, that one I cannot think about it. And I think we are going to have a 1.3 million 1.3 million clear here. Maybe? We need 80 something thousand damage here. The full up attack should hurt here, right? And another full up. One. Two. So 96k. We're pretty much close here. We're going to refresh for actually no. One. Two, three, four, right? This means 1.3 mil. That's good. You didn't pick up Necrologist from the Invitation Banner? <clears throat> pick Charlie. I don't have Star DPS. Oh, I feel on that one. This is... Uh, I'm actually going to make a guide specifically for all the new players on what you should be looking to pull and stuff. One of the things in this game is outside of Junounce, the most time you want one you want one DPS for each element. And then you build based on that after. The first priority is one DPS per element plus at least two healer of two different elements, right? This is a new record. 1.3 mil here. So yeah, the, the one thing about the soul day is yeah sure. Uh, she's a support and all, right? She's a support and all, but like, <laughs> almost one million damage. This is level forty-three, P zero soul day. Okay, level forty-three, P zero soul day. She, she doesn't really enjoy the stage buff. Jiu Niangzi does. <laughs> she has she used the last incantation than Jiu Niangzi, and she basically matches her damage. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. Join 1.1 was millennia cut me lacking. Huh. You can cope with pickle? I mean if you have pickle and your necrology is not built like a P0 might as well just go with pickle. Okay, we got two red one. Maybe this one can red it as well. Because the last time I played, right, I kind of just died midway because I wasn't looking. So for this raid. Uh, I would say this is the best team. Marcus is really strong overall. A lot of ranking up. Here you want to use rank up. You want to use high rank incantations. And, and you also want AoE. So. <clears throat> Already a free rank up. We're going to get a buff. Buff. One and two. Oh, by the way, for Marcus, right? One thing about her portrait is that with the right portrait, with the not portrait, she will be able to um, get two rank two skill at, at at turn one, which allows her to instantly get her ult back. Going to use two of her incantations here. Wait, did I not apply that buff? I did not. I think. Wait. Okay, now right. It is here, right? This is the damage bonus. We, we have the incantation one, so we don't have to use it again. <clears throat> Still, mark is skip if you have Jessica or you already pulled for a soul day. That is true. Now, in the same time, right? In the same time, we have to wait. Maybe we have, like, a really good support for a mental in general. And then she's like, wow. Yenisei or Bloom Party? Once you have Yenisei, Yenisei heals better. Okay? Once you actually have her, she heals better. Let me do a buff here. That's better. Good stuff. Mental stock will definitely raise, but 
reality looking more meta for now. Here's the thing. Remember, we are almost close to one year anniversary, which means 2.0 is approaching. And with 2.0 approaching, we might have another main story that have one of the intelligent or uh, spirits units, and it might just be a mental support. That's all it takes to shift to ship this up, you know. That's all it takes to shake this up completely. One, two, three. So this should apply what? You need to make sure the boss does not have like between, I think, 8 stack to 13. I need to double check. Or 12. Or it's going to trigger the follow-up attack from the boss. Am I going to trigger the follow-up attack? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me double check. How What was the, uh, what was the stacking of the boss? It specifically says that between 8 to 13. So you don't want to be 18, 13. 8 to 13, but because this team have so much ranking up, it's not a problem. I also need to refresh here because when you use Mark Assault, you usually want to make sure that she has... Um, wait, how much HP does the boss have? You want to make sure she has some incantation left on the field that can be ranked up. So, there's that. <clears throat> Even if they release a better mental support, they can't pull for a double unit in the same patch, so it's kind of hard. That is true. Again, we'll have to see how the future matters. This is one advantage of having, you know, CN being so ahead of us, right? Or, you know, you're looking at CN right now. So we know exactly what to pull for, what to wait for, and what you want to do in general. So this turn, this is good. Why is that? Because I have rank 3, rank 2. Rank 3 gives what? I think 4. Let me see. The boss will gain 2 stack. I mean 3 stack from a rank 2 and 5 stack with rank, <clears throat> rank 3. So this is rank 2. That's 3 stack, 5 stack. That is already 13. And then we do a full up here with an Lee, which is perfect. That brings the boss's stack over 13, and they will take damage. Yeah, you need 150-50, 250-50, kind of hard, too. Or you have beginner pool income. That is correct. That is true. What is the beginner pool income right now? It's like over 150 pools now, should be. Because we have new chapter and stuff. New chapter, content, the third door and stuff. We're going to again refresh for the cards. Put the buff on her again. Also, I think I'm going to buff the team overall here. Or I'm actually I'm going to hold it. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I like this. So we have... Her ultimate, one good thing about her ultimate is just obviously AoE. You want AoE here, you want to attack those things or they're going to taunt you. Strong damage. We put the buff back on her, which is actually a really good buff because she got incantation power up plus penetration. So both of those things are something she wants. Holy, rank 3 buff because she got incantation might up as well. I think I'll just accept a full up attack here. Or maybe we can go to the next turn. I did an empty move here because I want to have her ultimate back. This is rotation related. So 6... 9, 12, which is unfortunate. Not where you want this boss to end at, but... It is what it is. 
We're passively healing so much, we haven't been using healing incantations at all, right? This is also just another advantage of Six and Tooth Fairy. You just don't have to heal as much. When you don't have to heal as much, you're doing more damage. Again, refresh here. We want marker skills. One, two, three. We're going to throw another buff on Marcus, I think. Genuine is asking if global, if I have lots of mental DPS is worth racing baby blue now. Honestly speaking, not really. If you have mental, right? And if you don't have... What's his name? If you don't have Shaman, just throw six on there. Just throw six on there. Don't you think Asoda is more flexible in Raid than Jew, especially with higher portraits? I mean, yes, at higher portraits, but like, Jew have, Jew I would say is easier to build actually. Yeah, Jew is easier to build. That's a lot of uh, high rank skills. Holy shit, we're about to destroy this boss. One, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This is why I love playing Marcus. This is why I love playing Marcus, man. Like, you don't usually get this much... F so much high rank incantations. You're usually just spamming rank 1s from your DPS. Majority of the time when you're playing raids. Or just any content in general. And then here you have Marcus. It's like, okay. But you can do this and that. Holy, that refreshed over to her as well. Holy, this is great. This is actually insane. Put a buff on her as well. Make sure the team is still healthy enough to survive damage. P0 Shimei gonna die when a better mental support comes. So for Shimei, it's just a waste boot. That is correct. No FK Journey said, I'm not playing that game. I look at it and then I compare it compared it to F Karina and a lot of things just this it's it's just the same I'm not playing I'm in fact dropping solo leveling I think I will make a video about it uh, or I can make it make a video about it here and I'll show you guys what is really really just making me not want to play that game right now so six uh one two three Wait. Oh, she already have that much. <clears throat> Shock Pikachu face. Why? Too much pay to win. Yes, too much pay to win. The way, you know, the worst part is it's not even the pay to win piece, a piece that pisses me off. Okay, I'm used to pay to win. You know, I am used to pay to win. But solo leveling arise, I need to show you the. It's not just pay to win, right? There is worse part than the pay to win part of the game. That is really, really pissing me off right now. I know it's crazy. You might not think that is even possible, but it is. It is half more than pay to win stuff. You can join. Um, Jessica and SV. Free to play as fuck. <clears throat> but it played a Copocalypse. Yes, that one is paid to win as well. You know, here the worst part. Here the worst part, okay? Solo level of Rice is have like the same monetization scheme as Echopocalypse. Jaskin's server? I am in his server. Or if you're talking about like AF Journey, nah, 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 nah. I am, I am done with idle games. I'm done with idle games. But I'm done with. Idle, I'm not going to financially, financially cripple me again. Okay, I'm not gonna financially cripple myself again. Never again. Okay. <laughs> check. Check. Do we accept? A follow-up attack here from the boss. Or do we slow down our rotation? I think I'm going to slow down my rotation. 
I'm getting uh, the bosses fill up is giving us bye in every server everywhere I go I see bad I'm terminally online you streaming ZZZ CPT3 though yes I am streaming ZZZ CPT3 that is a game I want to make content for and have nothing to do with cat or anything absolutely not a furry <clears throat> yep not a furry All right, so I slowed down my rotation here because I want to make sure the boss doesn't get the follow-up attack. It's have gotten so many, the boss have gotten enough stack, it's actually a threat to me. <clears throat> we might get a uh, 1.2 mil clear here as well. Last time I got like, we are halfway, we're halfway through the turns. We are already like triple S basically, right? What do you mean cap? I'm not a furry. I'm what do you call a Wait, how do uh, there's like a word I don't know how to say it. Uh That's that the make um, that doesn't make anything. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fraternity. Fr fraternity? I have, I have universal love. Okay, I have universal love. I lost for anything. Uh, but, um, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. anyway. <clears throat> so, we're, we're gonna do a ultimate here. We're gonna do rank 2 attack. But we're also gonna get the buffs onto her. Right? We're going to do a heal. The HP is looking a little bit sketchy. <clears throat> six provides a lot of team-wide survivability. Yes, six provides a lot of team-wide survivability. And when you combine six and tooth fairy, you end up... You end up... <laughs> as fraternity is not it. I don't know. I don't know what that word means. I don't know what that word means. You can't blame me for that. <laughs> You mean to say your love is universal? Yes, that. That's what I mean to say. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, four stacks. Uh, one. So we can... Can we hit the boss with four rank two skills? I think I'm just going to rank this up. Right? One, two, three... Four. Like boys club? Really? I have no idea what that means. I, then how did it even translate to fraternity? It makes no sense. What is this Google Translate? Oh, fraternity? See dictionary, it says, A group of people sharing a common profession of interest. The state of feeling of friendship and mutual support within the group. I think I think like universal love is a better, better, uh, better translation there. Just saying. <laughs> uh, what is going on with this Google Translate, man? Holy! Shall make me sound gay. Actually. Anyway, uh, let's see. Wait, do I need to heal here or? Uh, so let's see. Okay, so my what do you call it? My unleashed buffy skulls. I'm just gonna put this buff ba buff back on. We're gonna do this two attacks. It's not gonna trigger the follow up attack. And the next turn, we can do more aggressive. Chicken, chick more translation. I mean, yeah. On the bottom, it says right. It says right here, universal love, expand all, universal fraternity, universal brotherhood. I would say just universal love makes sense. Okay. This is, there's a reason I'm not allowed in Zeus. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, now we are getting close. The boss is actually doing a lot of attacks. A lot of damage, right? Uh, using rank 2, if we do enough rank 2 attack on the boss. So, 7, I, I need it, it to be above 13. But also need to start with healing. So, this is uh, 3, 6. 6 plus 7 equals 13. And then one more hit equals 14, right? That's good. 
Cyrus, think I seen you in the real stream before? Probably. <clears throat> I mean, look, we're all terminal online. We don't need to hide it at this point. We're all terminal online, people. Grass are not touchable. Oh no, my six is dead. Oh, it actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. It actually triggered the fallout. That sucks. But I think that's it for this run. I was too, you know, I was too worried about my rotation. I should have healed more. Like right now, I should be healing. If I healed more, it wouldn't be a problem. But I don't have, I don't even have the healing contagion. It's whatever. <clears throat> oh yeah, I knew I recognized you for somewhere. Don't lump me with you. You are as terminal online as me. Don't lie about it, okay? Don't lie about it. You're exactly the same type of people as me. You're just as terminal online. It helps me network with basically the whole CC exists in R1999. That is true. I also network with all these CCs in R1999. Oh man, we didn't get 1 million threshold? That sucks. We're so close to 1 million though. I'm sad. Yeah, don't let me with you, but I have a live outside. You do? Why do I doubt? Why do I doubt that? You have friends? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <laughs> That's a lie right there. We didn't get 1 million here. That's unfortunate. Again, if we have like a better support, if we have a, like a strong mental support here in place of Anli, I think we could do it. Only is useful, but Only's damage is not that high here. The support was only somewhat useful. Maybe we can try Necrologist in on Only's place, but then we would have to use a different healer, right? So this is like the overall score. 1.3 mil, 1.2 mil, uh, 996k. But again, look, here's my team, okay? This is why I said rates are easier. Look at my team. So, Jiu right? It, it, she doesn't have the Zi. So, Jiu Niangzi, only R10, okay? R10, level 60, single portrait, just one portrait. This is, I got this within 100 pulls. The only thing that might not be super achievable for you is this. This is A5, right? This is the only thing that is not that achievable. Same here, A5, right? But... Also, P0, right? P0, P0, a soul day P0. In fact, 6 is P0. 6 is level 30. 6 is level 30. With level 50, Psyche. She's He's surviving like a champ. Boo have cooties, though. I would keep him 6 feet away. She would try to coerce you into join his furry cult. I don't have a furry cult. Okay, I'm universal lover. What is I saw this side cube? We are getting every single units are now getting signature side cube. This is also something I'm a little bit worried because side cube materials are expensive to get and are very time gated. When you're attacking enemy that is currently burning, damage increased by six percent. Oh, okay, my soul this side cube is not portrait. Uh, it's not amplified. AOE damage when the AOE damage of this character is a follow-up attack. Incantation might increase by 4%. Uh, when max out, this goes to, what, 20-something? So this in, uh, deals, how do I say, this gives her a lot of damage because her follow-up is incantation might. What is, wait, uh, show us 6 HP? Sure. So right now, with him not complete build, he has... 10,000 HP. Uh, let's see. 10,000. Another really. Look. Look at this, actually. Look at this. So, this is a level 50 side cube. Level 30. 12,000 HP. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this very cute fanboy? I bet his mushroom is very thick. Anyways. Uh, is uh, Blasphemer of the Night good for her? Like M5? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine on her. She doesn't have a lot of damage bonus beauty without outside of her ultimate. <clears throat> um, and then com 
Also, look, look, something. Okay, so let's do a quick new Babel Slender. Okay, I can't really do this, but um, so our fanboy, her shield is 15% of her max of his max HP. Okay, so right now with we're not even completely built, right? Our side cube is now leveled with 12717 HP. He gives the team. A 2,000 HP shield, okay? A 2,000 HP shield. Guess how much shield New Babel gives? Around 800. Yes, on a day is fine. On a day is fine. Last purpose of the night, on a day. I have 14k, exactly. Miss New Babel is trash. Okay, Miss New Babel is trash. Her thing is based on shield, based on reality defense. Like what you can do, like 1,000 at most? 1,000 at most? Only one round? Why do you need shield for more than one round anyway? And when you use her shield, I mean, when you use his shield, it also passively gives your team more damage anyway, right? From the passive. Sire... Why? Okay, sire, I need, I need, I need you to understand something. What is this? What is this? Why? This is this. This is like the third day today. Your message got blocked by Automod, and for the same reason. Why are you bullying me? That's not nice. Denied. That's right. Denied. Anyway, uh, um, but yeah, so the game get a lot easier over time. The game get a lot easier over time because of six. Please, please, please pick up your six. You guys saw how much more survivability the team had when you just have six and two's very in your team. They both provide passive heal. Six provide a bunch of survivability. And when you use them together, you have to you can use less healing. And when using less healing, it means you're doing more damage, but also surviving anyway because your team is tankier, getting a lot more heals. But it's not, wow, wow! Stop the bullying. That's not nice. That is not nice. Okay, that is not nice. Unbelievable. I'm selling you guys to Africa. All right, so uh, before we go though, this is the there are there are two more things I want to do today before we close the stream. Like I said, it's gonna be a short stream today. Actually, it's already three hours. What the hell? What happened? Where did my time go? Unbelievable. All right, so uh, let's make a Google form. Okay, let's make a Google form. Um, wait, where is the, where did the form go? Hello? What the heck? Uh, 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 uh. Alright, there we go. So, we can have a six viewer pool. Sign up, right? This is for uh, 28th, 28th. Okay. <clears throat> Pools session for uh for six, right? That's not how you say session. There we go. I think that's session for six viewer pools. What are some of the rules? How how do you think we should do do the rules? <clears throat> Sell to Africa? Yes, very much. Miss, your little brother is better than you, you dumb son. Uh, no, that's not what it means. You have, you have completely screwed up the grammar. You said your mother's, your, your mother's, yours, brother, yours, better. That's not how you do it. Okay, that's not how you do it. That, that thing is Google Translate as hell. Okay, okay, okay. So, how would we do this with the six viewer pool, right? Requires at least one soft pity. So 70 pulls, right? 
That makes sense, right? So at least one up the pities. <clears throat> um, I think that's it. No, I don't know how many people should we do. Ten, maybe. Uh, what do you want to be called? Which is the same here. We we'll get rid of this, but actually we'll change this, right? Uh, let's see. Actually, instead of this, so in the drop down here. How many portraits, right? How many portraits? So that makes sense, right? So uh, zero or P zero, P one, P two, P three, P four, P five. Okay, so this is drop down, makes sense. And then we need a. Uh, Should continue after losing 50-50. Multiple choice or just checkbox or or some other options. What are some of the checkbox options should they have? What are some of the checkbox options should they have? So first of all, obviously, and some people may not want to continue with 50-50 if it lost it, right? So if they lost 50-50, we should not continue. If they, yes or no, we can do that, but, but, but we can have like multiple, tr multiple of this, right? Continue after losing options. So it's like, um, options, right? Options or special options. <clears throat> Stop after losing 50, 50, right? Stop after losing 50, 50. Um, <clears throat> And what else? Or do we only have this one option that we have to for people? Because look, I am I am actually touching because I'm okay. Let's just do this. Stop after losing 50-50. Uh, yes and no. Because we are touching people's pool. Okay, those have real values. I don't want to fuck anything up. <laughs> I don't want to fuck anything up here. So we have the sign up instructions. I don't know why there are two of them. Uh, we'll get around this one, right? So R99 login uh, email, R99 password. We need more rules though. Like how should we do, I, I would do, I guess I would do sires first. I will do sires first. And then I'll do Angie and then six wives since those people have wanted this for a long time. But after that, we'll see. Maybe we'll just roll for it. I don't think Viewerpool is going to take that long, right? <clears throat> the genu genu peak, genu peak of whether you think that's going to work out. We'll see. Six Viewerpool set up. I think this is good enough. <clears throat> just know that if you shift me, I'll curse you. Good luck about that. I'm going to take all your luck. Instead of shifting, I'm going to I'm gonna take all your luck. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I can control this stuff. Hey, we can customize this. You know I like that impact fonts. Uh, but it's too too dark. There we go. That looks good. Um, header, choose the image. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we can get creative with this stuff. We can get creative with this stuff. Um, let's see. We're going to copy this, I think. Aww. Wait, where is that going? Okay, so now we can copy this, right? Oh, we cannot. You know what? I just need to know, like, the definition of this. You know how I am with all this artistic stuff. I will make a voodoo do. Put your face on it. Stab needles in your wooden body. I would not feel it. Bun feels no pain. Bun is hard. Very hard. 
create design, uh, custom, or we just do a, uh, I guess, web port. All right, so this is like the size of it, right? This is the size of it. We'll have like, uh, actually, now I think about it. One thing I have is I made a thumbnail for six, right? This looks perfect. We can just take everything here. And we copy that over here, okay? And then we just fit it in there. Wait. We'll put this on top. And then we make this relatively around the sides right here, like this. And then we fill this up like this. All right, perfect. Perfect. And then... We add like a some kind of tax here. We use this font. Actually, no. I I think I'll use impact here. Like twenty four seven. I'm a good luck. Viewer pool. But what's your profile pic? What you mean profile pic? That is Alice's from Elseworld. Elseworld, I think. Viewer pool. I like to match their size, and then we're going to give it. A good color here. Just like that. Actually fits pretty well, I would say. Um, I would download... Wait, wait, wait. Mm. I'm just going to select this. Download selection. Just like that. And now... And now we can switch this. Right? Choose the image. Upload from... Where's the image? Wait, what? Where's the image? How did that take so long? All right, so now we can we can put this on and it's gonna look beautiful. Okay, it's gonna look beautiful just like that. Look at that! It looks so beautiful. And then the color also automatically changed. <clears throat> so you made the rules, I think so. Wasn't there when you did the carrying stream last Sunday? Cause it was like twelve a.m. in your time. Oh yeah, no worries. But now, why, where your thumbnail looks go to? Oh, thanks. Look at this. This looks so good. There's no reason to for me to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> All right. What do you want to be called? How many portraits? Stop out for 50, 50, 50. Actually, I think uh, putting this on top is better, right? How many portraits? Or actually, we'll also have like a. Um, Wait, linear skill. Okay, how many portraits? This is better. How many portraits? And then we'll do like how many pulls? <clears throat> right, max how many pulls? And then we'll use linear, right? Linear. One to uh, well, this does not work. We don't have a number, right? I guess short answer. Will that stop after two fifty fifty lost? Okay, stop after. So stop after. I guess this scale works as well. Stop after how many locks? I lost fifty fifty. Lost 50-50, right? So you can at, lose up to what? Seven, 50, six 50-50s if you're pulling for P5, right? I think, so how many portraits, right? From zero to five, one to six. How many pull max? How many pulls? Um, sign up for the. This is the count sharing info. R ninety ninety nine. I think that's good, right? I think that's good. That's good. Or we can just put this on top as well. Max how many pulls? How many lost? Fifty fifty. How many lost? I think this is good, right? You should have. 
a as many as possible for portraits. Nope. I am not pulling more than P5 for anyone. Stop it. What do you mean ban so Oh my god, calm down there, sire. No lasting. All right. Um, I lost uh, other people, not the other way around, okay? That's the rule here. So this is the form I can send that out. I'll worry about it later, but look at all these beautiful thumbnails. I spent so much time on it. Uh, but I, there is one last thing I do want to show you guys, though. <clears throat> okay, the solo level on the rise. Why do I dislike the game right now? Okay, why do I dislike the game right now? Uh, <clears throat> damn, good password, talent, exit. Oh my god. What do you mean, Tyrant? I'm not Tyrant. I'm just above the law. I make the rule in this neighborhood. And this neighborhood is mine. I have gentrified it all. <laughs> All right, show. I want you to log in, right? Let me show you all the disgusting system this game has before we call it for a day. And then obviously I need to pull that form up. Uh, is that the definition? No. I, because I am above the law and I make these rules, I also rule that I am not a tyrant. Because I have said that I am not a tyrant, thereby I am not a tyrant. It's very simple. All right, show. Why is it updating? What are you even updating? Also, this game have terrible, terrible network right now. I don't know if this is because it's early access or whatever. Okay, so the first thing to look at is how many different Hello. way of upgrading there is. Okay. I've been waiting. What is like happening? Warm black tea? All right. The game looks super free to play with all the stuff it gives you to, for free, but it does not matter when once you look at the system. Okay, so let's start with the main character. Okay, this is the main character. You have tons of ways to raise him. Right now it's going through a tutorial. There's the thing called blasting stones. You can get them, you can get different rarity of them. But we don't worry about it. Okay, so we have different versions of this. Can you play as a girl? Uh, you can, but the main character cannot change. He is Song Jin Wu. This is the main story. He has all the skills, right? He has all the skills, okay? Has all the skills. You can level it up. You can level up his skills. This requires very time-gated materials. Okay? Very time-gated materials. All of this increase your battle power. If your battle power is not enough, you will do reduce the damage for stages. There are each of the weapon have four. I mean, if each of the skill have four room modification. To get this, okay, it's complete RNG. You have to use time gated materials to create runes here, just like this. You create them, and when you have duplicates, okay, when you have duplicates, you can put the duplicates here to try to get a higher ranked version. All of this give him battle power. Okay, I'm not done yet. There is weapon, okay? You have different weapons for him. All of this weapon are not just simply weapon. You will level them up, okay? There is dupe, there is the dupe system. And you can also level up this weapon skills, which again has time gated materials. And leveling the skill up also give you battle power. You gain additional battle power through the system called Armory. This can take up to six of the strongest weapon and add their battle power to you. If they don't affect stats, they just straight up battle power. There is a time getting materials to unlock all the slots and upgrade the slot. To upgrade slots, you have to use this time getting materials, but to unlock slot, you can actually just use premium currency to skip that. Okay? I'm done? No, we're only looking at San Jun Wu. That's about all the system he can do, right? All the system. Oh, and there's artifact. As per usual, there's artifact. Time gated farming per day. And then to enhance them, you know, you need to use this time gated material to risk it because there is a chance to fail. You can fail upgrades just like every single Korean MMOs. You can fail upgrades artifacts. And there's also substats. So, yeah, you can see I'm failing like crazy right now. Wow. Look at that. Would you enjoy that? Can we stop? Thank you. 
hearing time gated. Everything is time gated in this game and heavily time gated. Each content have their own keys. Each content have their own keys. Okay, you can buy them with premium currency. But each content have their own keys. Here's the gate. This is the main thing you actually farm every day. Okay, every day. And then after that, you have to come here. Uh, after there's one reward for clearing, and there's reward for this as well. Okay, there's to do this. You have to dispatch them, and then you have to come back every one to three hours based on the gate you cleared to claim the rewards. So you have to lock onto this game every three to five, uh, one to three hours, depends on the gate. Okay, solo leveling arise. Solo leveling arise. Now that was not all. Okay, you can pull for characters. These are hunters. There are stages where you play as them. There are stages where they serve as support. They themselves have one system, which is level up, right? They have level up. They have dupes. You can get dupes of them, up to 10 dupes. You have weapons. They have signature weapons. It's very difficult to get. And it's also related to the leaderboards. There are leaderboard rewards that get you access to it. But we're not done. All the skills of these characters, they can also be leveled up through time getting materials. Okay? You can also level their skill up through time getting materials. Each of the hunter also have their own set of artifacts you can equip. Okay? And we're not done yet. We're not done. We're not done with the system. Army of Shadows. Remember time gates? This is just as time gated. We have all these materials. They're time gated. You will be leveling them up. Throw those materials that make them stronger. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And obviously, for example, to unlock new stuff, time gated materials. Now, all this time gated material I was talking about, right? Most of them drop from this gate thing, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you usually try to get the purple one stuff. I bought the battle pass, so I have like three free clears. So you can see they drop a little bit. They got drop two copy of this, one of this. Uh, this is nine marble. I think that's be the value. All right. So I think that's all the battle power related system I can bring up right now. Now, why did I bring up that? That is because if you go to the tutorial, I actually did and then read through them. Uh, let's see, where is it? Huh, where is it? Shell upgrade, promotion, army level up, shovel extraction. Uh, did they remove it? No way, right? There's no way that I can remove it. Shadow skill, tagging, auto set attribute, break control, ultimate. Wait a second. Management player formation? I actually can't find it. No way, no way, no way. It. There's no way that it's not here, right? There is no way they just removed it. I mean, I have a screenshot of it. If I have to, I just pull that up. Okay, there we go. Team formation. If the party total power isn't high enough, penalties such as reduced damage dealt and increased damage taken may be applied. Is his wife not in the game yet? I don't think so, no. We're gonna slowly get them. Okay? And events. Events is what pisses me off the most. Let's look at each event. The first event is called Collect Letters. Awesome event. You get free stuff. Uh, you get free stuff for just playing the game. Uh, Hunter pre Preview. This is where I learned you can actually get 10 copies because it doesn't show you outside. But here, if you go to Skill and you click this, you can say, so 5 copies for skill changes, another 5 copy each for 3%. I'll show you gameplay a bit. Um, so this is the event, okay? Okay, later. Later. So, this is the event. Uh, now, you might say, oh, free stuff, right? So, you can get up to 11 copy of these weapons through this. But how do you do that? Well, you can only get 3 rolls per day. But you can get infinite amount of rolls if you just pull. Draw from radar banner 10 times. Give you 2 dices. Okay? This is the easiest way to get the... Uh, 
easiest way. I, I mean, it was a, like, it was just a battle pass. It was just a battle pass, so like $10. <laughs> battle pass, and then multi card is also $10, so like $20. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop this game soon. Okay, so here are the kicker. All the event here, the real events kicker here. Holy shit. They do rotating. They do rotating leaderboards. Okay, they do rotating leaderboards. The way to gain points here. The, gate, the way to gain point here is to just spend resources and upgrading your character. Okay? Advancing. You know what this advancing means? This is advancing. Getting their duplicates. You get 220, uh, 255 points on that leaderboard if you just get dupes of SSR characters. Okay? That is the two piece of events. Unironically, the game's combat is fun. The game's combat is fun. But look at all the systems. And then it's going to go to the next tournament, right? All the leaderboards. The end game content. The battlefield of time. Okay? The enemy here has, uh, has battle power as well. And in here, you're looking at leaderboards. Okay? Again, leaderboards. There's overall ranking. Uh, I need to click this, I guess. So here are the leaderboards. This season point is very important if you want progress. Because in that shop, there are very important material stuff. But as you can see, season point. 400 on rank 1. Top 100, 140. The, uh, below 200, only 80, okay? Can you play as much as you want? Yes, there is no stamina system. If you want to keep playing, sure, there are stages where you can play and repeat. And in this shop, remember all those time-gated stuff I was talking about? Some of the stuff that's important, this. This is a, um, this is the, what do you call it? This is the gear required for signature weapons. These are shadow-related things, and there are pools. What game this mask? Solo leveling or rise? Let's play one. Uh, let's play this, right? Let's just play this. And I'll show. Again, this combat is really fun. It's not actually in period right now. So I'm going to auto form. I'm going to get him here. I'm going to take. Keep him here. And I'm going to put the healer on. Don't be afraid. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put on my uh, controller. So as you can see, the boss actually have a battle power. It's only 50k. Imagine if, if you're above the battle power, you're not going to get your ass kicked. You take a lot more damage if you're below the battle power. You can't avoid so for most of the mobs, you can pretty simply just do, just run them through. And then when your weapon skill is up, you can switch weapons. This sh this should be easy. I have not done this before, but uh, I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. Ouch. See, like, when my battle power is above the enemy, I don't take damage. I thought he used stickers. You can put any weapon on, okay? You can put any, you can, you can put tons of weapons. They're selling weapons. Okay, actually, I didn't show you guys banner, you wouldn't know. You can pull for hunters, and you can pull for weapons. So there's the, there's the, obviously, the signature, I, I guess, uh, you know, the correct evasion, kind of. Not really signature, basically, you dodge at the right time, you get like a counter, but the counter itself have a 14 second cooldown, which is stupid. And then this weapon freezes anything, including bosses. So now I broke the boss, right? I broke the boss, I do all my combos. 
This is his ultimate, which by the way, you can level up also. You can level this skill up also. Ouch. Where's my HP? Where's my HP? Where's my HP? What the fuck? Is that- Oh my god, he proc the passive. I need to heal back up. This boss is so stupid. Even if you don't get hit, if you just stand in fire, it still like takes your HP boss out. Oh my god. Heal, 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 heal. Good thing is I got an SSR healer, you know? What is this? I've never seen this before. Oh, okay, easy. Ah! Go, 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 go. There we go. Beautiful. Easy. No sweat. Perfect dodge, right? Summon the uh, shadow again. And then we just throw out the healer again. Look at that, I'm healing back up. I'm healthy, somewhat. Look at this stupid boss, it's not even attacking me. It's attacking some run. Oh, it's actually attacking my shadow. That makes Okay, freeze again, freeze the boss here. Do the ultimate. I like the combat, exactly. Combat is good, monetization is horrendous. And the game is just annoying. Why do we have a system like that? It's no use. Explode. There's been a change in the atmosphere. Okay, the final form, I guess? I don't think this version of it had was in the story. But oh well, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I do not want to be a part of that. So I think that's we pretty much clear this and just uh, need to not die here. Just need to not die here. I said don't die here, please. Heal. Look at that. I'm, I'm almost full health. So easy. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 What the fuck is that? It stun locked me in that. It stun locked me. That's not okay. Stun lock is a terrible thing for enemy to have. It's my privilege as a player. I should be stun locking enemy, not the other way around. Okay, dodge, defense down, sixty percent, ultimate, good combo. Why does all look like the I am the storm that is approaching? Move from Devil May Cry. If you watch the manga, you will realize he like to do that a lot. He like to do this kind of, it's called mutilate. He like to do this kind of shit a lot. I think he's thinking look cool or something. <laughs> and then we just do the skill, weapon skill that like freezes it, right? And then I think we finish. So this is a five minutes clear. We didn't get any rewards. Because yeah, the, re the, the clear was slow. But anyway, so now you can see, we are cleared with X amount of time, right? And then we go on to the leaderboard. And then we pray that we have enough, we are fast enough. Also, it's called De Devil May Cry, not Devil Man Cry, goddammit. Virgil! Anyway, so, and then here are the rewards, which is, I guess it's fun. I don't like the ranking side of things, but this is fun. Um, the other endgame mode also have ranking. It's called challenge, ranking, rewards, rewards, all kind of ranking rewards, very, very uh, ranking focused. Honestly speaking, I was going to say, okay, the game kind of sucks. Also, there's the idol, idol system for some reason. You know, honestly, okay, this game kind of sucks over with some of the monetization system, but I will give it a pass. The worst part right now is the gate system. Okay? 
So you do this, you you clear them. I'm not gonna actually clear them because I'm too lazy. We're just gonna free sweep. But gate system means you have to come back every every time, like three hours ish, to claim your reward. You have to claim the reward every three hours ish, and it's so annoying. I don't want to lock back onto this game every three hours. I want to finish this game one day in, and then I'll call it for the day for the game, right? And also the sweep, if your power level is not enough, you have to use cash. Or you just play it, obviously. That's fine. Well, actually, ah, oh, shut it. You know I'm right. And then, oh, there's the battle, there's the tower mode of every mobile game. With aggressively growing battle power. Okay, at rank at level 30, at 30, it's 256,000 battle power. You're a chronicle online. Yes, but look, I make... Okay, I make videos, okay? Look at the guy that I just make. I spent like one hour to make this one effect that was on a video that I know very limited amount of people that would be interested in. Oh yeah, don't forget, you know, everything you can just buy stuff like here. You know, come here, you buy the monthly packs, you buy the diamonds, you buy the bundles, uh, you, buy, you, you, you buy the mission passes, right? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, you have more stuff to buy here. Some weekly, monthly stuff. You can get your, uh, you can get your signature weapon material right here. Two of this pack is enough to get one signature weapon for your hunters. Uh, there's all obviously the the exchange shop and everything. You have a lot of uncle. I just, the game just refreshed, so, the game just refreshed, but I am considering the moment, let me tell you something, the moment ZZZ CBT drops, this game is out, okay, this game is out. I had a lot of expectation, but there is simply too many pay to win system, and it uses one of the worst battle power system, that is making me cannot, cannot stick to it. The combat is really, really fun. Okay, the combat is really, really fun. And it's a shame. Now I can fuse my Horopedia. I don't know. Do I, Well, Horopedia's ultimate is good anyway. But let's see. Skill card animation. Okay, I made this animation here. Right? In so many multiple layers. This, look at this. It's so beautiful. Look at this beautiful thing. Right? It's a fusion of, so there's like two two layer of light add, add, added in there, right? One straight light, one run light right here. Look at that, it looks so good. And then it's three cards, one card from the left, one card from the right, right? This is the one from the <clears throat> left. And then we have the two star one in the middle which rotates in. Look at how beautiful that is. This took me an hour or so. Nobody's gonna, like, there's gonna be like probably 2,000 views out of that video because it is a topic that probably people are either already well off but or doesn't care, but... Yeah, this is the kind of shit I'm wasting my time on. Not gonna lie. This is the type of shit I'm wasting the time on, which is also why some of the video take a ridiculous amount of time to finish. <laughs> I just thought, okay, I could do this effect. Uh, I could not do the C fact, it's not gonna matter. I could do the C fact, it's not gonna matter, but uh, you know, I just can't help and do it. But yeah, this is so lovely of Rise. I have some serious issue with the game system overall. Now, there is one redemption, okay, where there's one redemption. Sure, this game have, let's count it, okay, let's count it. This game have one system, leveling, two system, weapon, three system, weapon skill, Right, three system weapon skill, four system weapon dupe, uh, five system skills, uh, skill runes, six systems, uh, six system skill level, seven system blessing stones, and then um, eight system armory, nine system hunter, ten system hunter signature weapon, eleven system. Uh, hunter skill upgrade, 12 system, Hunter Growth, which is again time-gated. 
thir uh, what, 12, 13 system artifact for Hunter and Sun Jin Wu. All those systems, every single piece are monetized and tied to battle power. There's still redemption if the game's battle power doesn't get ridiculous high, okay? If the game's final amount of battle power does not become aggressively high that you now need to absolutely drop money into the game to reach there eventually, it's okay. Okay? This game don't usually get much traction. This game deserves some traction. The combat is really fun. The story, the story presentation is really good as well if you look at it. Um, where would be like something really cool to watch? I don't know. <clears throat> like, it's man, it's it put manga in here. It have a good presentation and good animation and also <clears throat> voiceover, right? It also have 3D 3D presentations as well. This is 2D presentation. I think some of the coolest presentation is on um, here after you kill Ignis. Right? Wait, you can you can watch the story without beating it again? Yeah, oh, that's annoying. But yeah, <clears throat> why watching the goofy goofy dub voices? Look, I play everything in English. I'm sorry. <laughs> But the game has really high quality, but the system is horrendous. Okay, the system run is horrendous. If, let's say, you know, Battlefield of Time, let's say the later version and the challenge at the end does not have ridiculously high battle power, or let's say 250,000 battle power is achievable free to play without needing to compete in all this event. I think not the only dub for me. I play Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, all in English dub. Fight me. <laughs> and it's not going to be, oh, spend resource here. Spend resource within X day, within X amount of time to get all this very, very huge resources. Like Hunter exclusive weapon design. You need four pieces of this to get an exclusive weapon, which is very important to their power. But you know, all this rotating. Rotating challenge and tournaments. This actually just the fact this even exists in 2020 uh, in 2024 after Genshin Impact. I it's it, it grosses me out. Okay, I'm, I'll be honest. It grosses me out. It makes me want to puke. It makes me physically unwell. Um, and you love writing Hoyo, Hoyo games, huh? Yes, I love writing Hoyo games. You know, I, I love Hoyoverse deep inside of me. Anyway, uh, with that being said, I think that's all about it. That's all it is for this game. I mean, it, not everybody's going to care this much. Not everybody's going to care care this much. There's just enough system that I dislike that is inside of this game that make me not want to play it. Okay, That will make me not want to play it anymore. So, uh, it is what it is. I'm going to make the community post for this viewer pool for six. I need to make another version of this, I guess. Uh, and then, I guess tomorrow, <clears throat> got lots of dubs in League. Bye. Bye. What? And then tomorrow, I will... When did I do this? Why do I have this? I don't remember it. I literally don't remember doing this. Anyway, uh, I'll set this up. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to chill. Never fuse 37 incantation, yes. If you're a higher portrait, you should. If you're a higher portrait. Let me let me answer that as well. Um, you are higher portrait. You should be trying to get as much Eureka, thereby not fusing it. Only with Car One C I can get Chain Fusion or get tons of Moxie from the otherwise one star my way. Good stuff. All right. So, are you not playing League later? No, I uninstalled League of Legends because there are some internet issues. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot play League right now. It's so bad internet wise. Uh, but let me see viewer pool, pull sign up sheet. Maybe I should do like viewer pool in the morning, in my morning, right? No more leaks, man. No more leaks. But also the 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 specific league tournament is over for this season, so we're not doing league anymore anyway. 
Now let me turn this game off. I'm not going back to this game. Holy shit. The combat is so fun. The system is so disgusting. I wasted 20 bucks and uh, that's it. <laughs> I wasted 20 bucks. <clears throat> I would rather have spent that 20 bucks in reverse 1999. At least there is no... Mo Nothing says monetization right here, right? Except maybe this. The event? Look at the event. Is there anything in the here that says spend money? That says spend resources? No, nothing. It's a story that you can enjoy with some challenging stages with free units. Disgusting that Murbo. You pisses me off. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we're gonna do a refree, reframe of this, right? Reframe of this. We need to put this into a square. For a square, six need to be in here. We can extend this open a little, like this. And then we have view pu uh, viewer pool. We have six here on the bottom or top. Let me see. Slightly tilted off, off to the side like this, viewer pool. And then we close this into a relatively square, clo uh, square looking. Like that. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, I'm happy with this. And then I'll just download this. And then I'll post that there. And then I think we're good to go. Maybe. We add a preview. Pull it a little bit like this. Mm, that red. It's weird. Uh, white stuff, but that's fine. Uh, I think that's fine. Alright, that's good. I think that looks good. Look at that. Beautiful. They should hire me as a graphic designer. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's it for today. Well, that was surprisingly long, four hours, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed it. We got another red SSS with the raid, right? That was pretty, pretty awesome. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the global UTTU. We have six viewer pools. I'm also going to pull for a Lecaran. No, not a clue. Acheron, Acheron on Hunkai Star Real after finishing the viewer pool. I'm going to have a data sheet on who's more lucky <laughs> just because I can. And then that's pretty much everything that's planned for tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off now.